Welcome to Combo Breaker 2022. We are live, and I do mean live, with that Street Fighter V. Baby, we are home, and I can't believe I'm saying this again. We are back. You're goddamn right, St. Cole. You're goddamn right. And I need to hear Ooh. from everybody in the crowd right now just to get the full effect. What's going on? Y'all ready for some Street Fighter Five? Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's something that I've been looking forward to for a long, long time, St. Cola. We're looking oh, yeah. forward to having that energy back in person, in-house, in full effect production, the fans, and of course, the players. We've been talking about this all weekend long. We're about to see some bus ass on a higher level. Ooh, Shout ooh, out to Yipes too, making it all the way through. Even folks like Logan coming all the way through. Everybody here is back together, but it's now time for this top eight of Street Fighter V. Yes, sir, yes, sir. We got a banger of a top eight. We have a lot of faces that you would expect, but uh, some that you wouldn't, too, as well. Maybe that's a little bit of a Cinderella story might be happening. And a lot of diversity in terms of the character selection, too, as well. So I know y'all think Luca's puke and all that stuff like that. We got a lot more in store and a lot on the menu. Let's take a look at that top eight bracket yes, real please. quick. Yes, please. Who do Let's... we have up on deck? I know Ooh. we see Idom and Shine up mm -hmm. at the top, right? You don't, well, you know. Top also, I should say. Mm -hmm. uh, they're on the stage right now. Mono PR versus Combo right after that. But of course, let's take a look at the losers bracket, right? Filipino man and up to That's snuff. Up. That is two SoCal brethren going up against each other. Then Chris CCH versus Mena RD. It's about to be mad explosive. Exactly. And that's what I like to see. The way that this meta has developed is a lot, a lot of the characters kind of shine. But also, the progression of the players during COVID. People have been practicing. Honestly, I haven't even seen up to stuff in any tournaments, but he's in the cage, he's in the lab, staying solid with it, and that's why he's in that top spot. He was mm -hmm. a person I'm looking at right now to make it really far. It's a dark horse. You know, I would say so myself as well. I, I think there's a lot of names out here that we've seen that have been eliminated pretty early, but it's been really rough competition. We're starting mm -hmm. to see how a lot of these players have acclimated themselves to the changes of the most recent patch of the definitive edition of Street Fighter V, and we're about to see it showcased even more so. I'm really curious to see how Idom is going to take on the new and improved shine with this Cody. We've seen a lot of this lab work. We've seen a lot of this execution. It's going to be pretty pretty intimidating to see these two go up against each other in this stage of the game. Absolutely. I mean, if you look at history, and this goes for a lot of people, not just Shine, it's generally Idom that takes the victory, but this is a different story. Combo Breaker, the first match of the day for Street Fighter V, Idom versus Shine. Y'all better see me in the streets. Yeah, you're about to take people into the back alley and everything. Oh, yes, He's like, you sir. better watch this game, yeah, you baby. Watch this game. You better put your eyes on the screen right now. Yes, sir. Poison versus Cody. Ooh. Let's see how this match plays out. Here we go. Round game one. number one. We're going to talk about this face game just a little bit, right? Poison's going to be controlling a lot of that. Shine actually wanted to disrespect him immediately off the bat to kind of test his reaction. That jump in immediately gets checked. Idom now forcing the agenda. Shine. Ooh. Okay, I like that. Yeah, being able to sweep that crouching heavy punch is a little bit too close for comfort. Try get that distance where that does become punishable. And it is hard, this matchup, just like most matchups where you have the long distance relationship with the buttons and things like that. Poison, fall, tons of matchups like that are difficult for Cody. So he's got to get in and get that win. There's one thing that I have in mind for Shine, right? Being able to see whether or not he can actually throw in a fireball to pursue afterwards. But Idam has been doing a lot of threats with this heart raid. And that's just been this big signifier right here. Shine is slowly creeping up, but at the same time, look at how much chip damage he's been taking. And he's staying outside the area for the Zong. So smart, but Shine, he gets one good EX off. The party gets started. Ooh. Watch me to get into the EX heart raid. The oh, no! Hit. It's called impressive. Not quite there for stun, but one more touch! No. Love me tender. It's going to be Idop taking the first round with a good amount of meter built off of that back row. There you go. And you see, this round is a fantastic two. play that Idom puts on the zoning. And I like how he is uh, very uh, minimal in his button press and things like that. Not doing too much. He doesn't really have to in this match. Uh -oh, okay, low. I like that. This is the opener I wanted to see from Shine, right? We're going to see exactly... Damn! Ooh, what an answer! We're going to see how that thump gets bopped. Okay, <laughs> I take it all back. I thought Shine was going to have some sort of momentum, but right now, Idom has just the perfect read in that corner. That heart rate, totally fine with that. Watch out for the tornado. An extension off that knife, the extra range. And a lot more damage, too. There gets the counter hit. Medium Ruffian, walking to the corner. And I love it. Just look at this control. It changes all when you have that trigger. There's just so much extra range. You have so much more consistencies in your combo conversions. The slight jump to get the reset, but Idom's still aware of it. He's not committing to a full combo yet. Look at him. Cook up. Plug for Wait a oh. minute. Defense. What? Can't take too much more than EX on. Please. Let me get. Oh, the instant overhead. I just got PTSD from last night. Oh, no. That's exactly what happened with the best was call sex edition. <laughs> I was watching. He was watching. He's like, let me do that. I'm going to steal that. I'm going to steal that. I'm going to steal that. Put that in my roster. 
No, but all honestly, yeah, it's it, how are you supposed to defend against something like that, right? Mm. I mean, like, there's so many options that in that very moment. You either wake up to a short, a throw, right. with a jump short for the instant overhead. Yeah. I don't know, man. Nine times out of ten, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty oh, yeah. sure people wouldn't have blocked that. Uh, I really Someone don't think so either. Like, oh, you have blocked it. You're a liar. I know. I, I believe him. Uh -oh. I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. But usually you're looking out for the cross kick activation to run things back like that. So yeah. Forcing Shine to go to the Ibuki. Well, I talked with him yesterday. This he's is wanted, what I'm talking he's about. To this run is exactly the what I wanted to see. But this is better. He needs a way to get in, and the X Kunai is a path. Let's see if it even happens. Mm -hmm. Round one. And one of the things I like to see right. is the return of that V Trigger 2. I'm not the one trying to block it, but I'll mm -hmm. tell you what, when I watch it, <laughs> spectacles happen, man. There's something crazy about it, and it's back. Mm -hmm. One block, it's positive. You get to take your turn again. It's pretty good. It is. And to get that win. This is the B skill. Would love to get more of those hits to build that B bar to go far. Get that feature going. Gonna get a lot of checks so far from Idom. A successful jump in, but no big conversions out of that. Idom actually very aware about the situation. Manages to get the side switch in time. And now he can apply so many things here. We stun and done. EX, B reversal, get some distance. That means he'll be for a bit more. Time. And I love this, right? Being able to spend that V reversal to make sure that Shine doesn't get any of his turns. Shine back in the corner, but I still feel like Idom is comfortable in this corner still. Oh, the counter hit. Again, opting for the side switch instead of any sort of conversion off the stand jab counter. Not getting up with the shimmy this time. He's fine, but the gray life and the damage has racked up so much. And Idom, so comfortable in this match. Oh, oh. my god. One more touch to steal. He's got the Can it actually hit? Connection? Let me see the mix. What's on the menu? Only the right, right after. And the throw. Oh my goodness. Nice, what Kunai! He but actually the reversal did jab! If he had committed to the EX Kunai, I think that would have been it. Round two. Vicious. He actually checked Idom correctly. He wanted to see whether or not Idom would flinch on the anti air. He did. It just so happened that it was a regular Kunai. Back throw. Idom getting that space up in this place. Cool. The Tanuki suit. Oh my god. The roundhouse check as well. Double roundhouse check for both players. I like that heart rate. Although he's checking the air, yeah. he's still pulling a gang of meter. The X there, there we go. That's the entry point for this character. He didn't have that before with Cody. Now he has a way in. Even though it wasn't a big mix, he has him in the corner where Poison Dust suffered, but I'll tell you, Idon's innate defense is fantastic. Find the conversion, and heats him up a bit. And I love that using the Molotov to force a block against I against Shine as he tumbles his way in with that V-Skill. Ooh, with lead on the anti, see the counter hit. Throw. Reset situation again, Idon. Defensive timings on his life have been fantastic. And it might be good night for Shine. Good to see, barely missing the Molotov. Shine ducking, trying to duck shot the whole time. The kunai wasting it over. Two more left in the clip. The dead it matter. Oh. It actually didn't matter. Idom actually got the full conversion off of that counter hit, but there's still one more Boy, game to play. Again, this is top eight. Three out of five all the way through. Idom looking dominant, putting that in his name. Round He's ruling the narrative of the neutral. You can definitely see him comfortable with the zoning, and then the dash ins aren't getting checked because of the fact that he's been long distance with it. Idom on game point shine, sticking and riding. With the Ibuki. Oh. And I like that. Yeah, no free kunais here. The crouching heavy punch still within range. Again, letting it rip. Idom having such a hefty lead and just such a control of the neutral and great understanding of what exactly Shine wants to do. At the moment, Shine can only focus on the ground game. He does not have any sort of EXs to break his way through this immaculate defense, or active defense, I should say, coming from Idom. Kunai, but again, not the X situation. Here's the B trigger for the tag. Yo, what a jump back from Idom. Didn't, didn't land too much. I think still away. I think Immaculate was an understatement. Currently, he's looking pristine. Mm, more than clean. Janitorial duties. Janitorial <laughs> duties. <laughs> Cleaning up the mess, huh? The Roundhouse finds the, finally finds the target, actually. Double time over. Shine is still slowly trying to push Idom. That was a very, very deep kunai, allowing him to move forward a little bit more. But again, that beast does get blown up. The anti-air is there for Shine. Forward throw now. The interruption again. Mm. He's willing to press the sequence. I'd like to see Shine get a little bit more meaty with the no vegan. X plus frames. But again, again. Idom's defense. I like that. Check Idom's the bug. defense. And more than enough to cook him up. Again, that Molotov being so clutch, extending the combo even further for that match point scenario. Now, Idom just one round away of advancing. He's been able to fight comfortably in the corner. It's just the defensive timings of when he wants to dash out. EX, hold this throw. 
Do it like Grayline. What oh a check that God. medium kick. Jesus. Heart rate again. What are you going to do about it? Checking the movement. It's a pretty good move. Oh, we're out. What happens now? The roundhouse still gets blocked. Idom has nothing to fear at that range. He's not going to be tempted to press a button. Just walking Again, back like that. Back fine. Jesus, his defense is out of control right now. And the anti-airs are right there. EX. Have to hold that. Again, the, the counter three hit conversion. What was that? There was an actual counter hit. Sean actually tried to sneak in a button. Well, the sneak in the loser's activation. Can he route it back? Is this the return of receipt? The My God, are you I kidding me? Everything is stopping his advancement. The winner's side is Idom. Moves on over Shine in the first match of the day. Wins. That was actually OD. Limited. That was OD. The defense from Idom has been ridiculous. The, I gotta say, man, Shine has a lot of ways of getting in, focusing on the ground game. He does have the air kunai. Those are the two big. We're gonna see how it plays out. Potentially Fong versus Guile. You had a little bit of intel. You were talking about Rose potentially being the pick. We'll see how Win. that goes. God, it's gonna be Fong. Right Fong. That's what I like to see. The, it has to, to be the mains. I feel it, but this is gonna be difficult. It's gonna be really hard because I do feel like Guile can fight Fang pretty well. The boost stop a lot of the poison sequences that he wants to do. He usually wants to set up shop in the early parts of the round, let that head up, that w the health whittle away, yep. and make you panic like you on the Titanic. Panic like you're on the Titanic? Man, yeah. they were, that's a lot of panic, bro. That's Come a lot of panic. So anyways, let's take a look, right? <laughs> we're looking at the fireball game initially. This is phase one. We're going to see what happens, right? Who's going to be the initiator? So far, Kaba's the one throwing the most booms against Mono PR. Mono was the one that actually went forward and tried to engage. However, I do like Guile's normals way more than I like Fong's normals up close. But oh, in this sure. mid-range game, also, Guile dominates the space as well. I like that he's staying close up in that face like you need toothpaste just to get the poison off as much as possible. EX is trying to catch oh, the but the flash kick puts him down to the ground. And I like that. Yeah, plus frames again. Mono in hot pursuit. Apply the poison. No, he's dashing up. He's looking. Okay, excellent time to use that view reversal. Kava with plenty of life. How hard is to set up shop? You don't have a permit, sir. You need to leave. You don't even have the capital to do it. Look Ooh. at that. No cash. Nothing in hand. <laughs> this man is bankrupt before he gets into the, before he gets into the second round. Let's see what's going down. Kava with that aggression once again. Loves me that close range game, but he does have full screen. I like that. Trying to bait out the cower couch to get a neutral jump. Can't get off, but I can present the idea to Mono. And again, yeah, interrupting. Actually, a slight string into the Rio Bendo. Kaba was not able to interrupt that, but here comes Kaba now with a little bit more aggression. The roundhouse to check. Mono firing right back, but it's still, again, Kaba just being so slippery. You would expect that more from Fong. Exactly. A lot of movements moving from Kaba. I like him. Oh, oh never mind. The flash kick, the trade, still in Kaba's favor. He's doing everything possible to not be poisoned up. Staying sober. No lean for me. Oh my god. Blocking on the cross up. Great block on the target combo. It's a throw. And the help is winding it. down. Defensive. Boom, but he's still caught up in the corner. He tried to dash forward against Manu. He was so close. The anti-air on the other Whoa. side. Instant overhead. Not enough to kill. Activation, but it's still not gonna be followed by anything because it was just raw. Take raw. it back to the kitchen, it's raw. It was right in front of his face, not allowed to do that safely. You can't serve that? Not at all. No. I'm allergic to raw activation, sorry. <laughs> Boom pressure from the we'll screen, the dash situation. This makes the rhythm and rhyme of what Kaba wants to do all the time really hard to read because he's getting hit with booms and the dash in, that aggression that Kaba loves to have. He's to jump to delete some of the advancing normals in the EX. That's Still. exactly it, right? Kaba is definitely looking for any sort of like cower crouch into legs from Mono, any sort of forward events normal, as you said. But now I like this side of Kaba, right? Using the V-reversal early as an aggressive tool rather than a defensive one to keep Mono in this space. However, it's time to shine. Mm -hmm. Look at all the poison adding up. Ooh. Look at the mixes and the continuation. They've stabilized the damage on this man this season. Who gave him that? Whoa. And it's a wrap with that throw, bro. Yo, the comeback factor, you don't typically see that from Fang. I'm going to be real with you, it takes a lot of work. It's a 9 to 5 plus overtime. But someone like Manu, who has made this character, who has put them on the map like that, is doing it here. Who's going to pay for that overtime? Corporate's not going to pay for that overtime. Uh, they say he worked for free. Round one. That's crazy. You got to talk to the Hadol after that. <laughs> on the side of Manu, despite how dominant that match looked at the beginning, Manu came back from the brink. And I just love the decision making overall for both players so far. It's been very, very even. Mmm. Playing down a little bit too long. There's a throw. Dragon's flex, so this is the face. No crush. Very important tech here. 
Mono again still in hot pursuit, using a lot of the power crouch into the into the kicks. Kappa doing a lot of neutral jumps, basing it off of a lot of reads right now. But here comes that poison. It stacks up. Plus frames after that. What a shimmy! And there goes the throw bait. Do not get back though. You just might get stunned. The real bend is there, keeping him honest. He cannot press the button. And what a block from the side switch. And I love the use of the V reversal. Can't the V shift. Damn! Check Ooh. the wrist twice. Big neutral jump into the EX. That's the medium hit. That's medium no vegan, baby. Kaba. And I feel like he's not going for as many moves. He's still on the ground game. He's mixing everything up in the rotations. Hard for Mono to stop. And the defense overall. I mean, there were about three or four spent. I'm talking about neutral jumps. Mm -hmm. In the middle earlier, just trying to get that. Again, yes. he's going to that strategy a lot more often than not. If he doesn't get a neutral jump to bait any sort of normal, he will back away to recreate the space to go into that Sonic Boom phase. And again, he will be in hot pursuit immediately after if Mono stays grounded. Look at that space that he's putting on with the boom. It's so hard for Mono to get those anti-fireball situations going. And this is fine. Yeah, Kaba is still kind of avoiding the poison. They're trying to avoid the Vizca, but to no avail. He's letting the boost talk for the most part. Oh, that's going to be oh, a no. punish. A slight punish at that, but here's that poison applied again. Avoiding that situation. Coward Cross is about the feet, though. Oh Damn my it, god, that was actually disgusting. That was actually god like the activation. Baby boom situation. No, we just going to neutral jump in. The X situation, quarter carry. Shift. The big jump in to stop the rest out. of the boobs. I like that. Mono PR backing away a little bit, letting the poison talk for him instead. Backing away, Rio Benda setting up shot. The dash up does not get checked. He is going through the booms. He's reacting. He sees the frames. Oh, he no. sees the frames. Mono PR forcing Kaba to make some big errors. It's just that I feel like he thinks that he's got it in the back, he's got it in that space, and he's playing too much just in that one player game. I feel like Mono, making it real hard to get that zone and get that. He wanted, wow, yep. that's what a, a big call counter out. hit. Getting more of the extension, the poison just adding up a little bit of extra damage, right? And Mono loves that four pierce. I was talking about that before, because he can swing that out and not get flash kicked this season. Oh, oh no! I don't know. He thought, he maybe thought Kava was going to move forward behind that boo, but he just stood still. Back Side throw. switch, the back throw now. Break Mono the ankles. Man, that's the second time Kaba has been able to escape the corner, or at least the sides towards the corner. Another throw bait. Mono is actually the slippery one. It was me. It was me all along, me he all said. Along. He revealed his tactics towards the end. That's going to be a two-game advantage for Mono over Kaba. I love how he is just making Kaba feel uncomfortable. Someone that's so aggressive, so confident in that walk forward space, so confident in their zoning. He's found answers and made him misplace and misspace his sweeps and things like that. Finding punches, forcing a character select possibly, or just a timeout. Just a little bit of a breather. As he should right now. I mean, although he is down two games, he still has another shot in the loser's side. But again, there's plenty more that can change mm -hmm. in a single game. That's true. But to get turned away at any point. And I'm looking forward to it, to, forward to, it, to be honest with you. Kaba again, over committing to a certain uh, certain reads against Mono. Again, the sweeps haven't been happening. Yeah, I like that. A little bit of passive, passive aggressiveness passive holding aggressive. down the charge. Like you think I'm chilling here. Caught him coming through with the cow crouch and the throw too. I like guess in the corner. Let's see more of this quarter play, but again, Mono's defensive times and how he escapes the corner and switches the position oh, in. Oh, actually, Ooh. big time damage. Just look at that purple all over the screen. Ooh. The extra damage, the oh. stun added up. It just might be a little bit. No. Yes, sir. EX real bender to finish it off. And even so, I think Mono could have extended the combo still. I don't know. There was more? A You're telling bit, me there was, there was a more? more? But wait, there's Left more. Over. Forget what you know about Poison and Fong. There's, there's more. more. <laughs> he was getting those leftovers as Mono's on set point. Just the way he gives the fireball so confidently, coming through for free. And it's so hard for Kaba to stop. I'd like to see more of the crouching medium punches back off oh the The neutral jumps back on the table too as well. He had the right idea, but it yeah. still wasn't enough to catch the recovery of the kicks. He's the timing, the timing. There we go. EX for the knockdown Oki time. Big Kaba time counter. Button. This is exactly the momentum Kaba was looking for. Not going to be stun territory yet. Again, avoiding the counter crouch kicks. No plus frames here, but the mixes does get blocked. Ooh, back to back again. roundhouses. You're a madman. Mono. Oh, oh my lord. Gonna get a conversion oh and a throw. One Watch more out. touch. Yes. Oh, he still low. checks the low. He checks the movement. He's alive. 
He's alive! Standing off set point Kaba! But he needs this round. Though. He needs this round, yo. Watch out for the poisons coming in. Setting up shop. Mono now. The real Bender. Nisha Q, everything. He's throwing out the entire arsenal this time. The side switch. Look at the full conversion. I'm telling you, man. The damage consistencies for Fong is at a different level this season. He steps ahead. He fights ahead. Had to use it. He had to use it. Yeah, that stun was off. adding up. Kaba found his opportunity to get that V reversal. Recreating that space. The two for one boom on special. Mono PR now. Flying plus frames. Real Bender. Don't press the button. Lock him down the corner with that. And again, let that poison go and flow. The EX Connect. The purple sleeves. Jesus! My man looking like Grimace, he a menace! That's Mono! Moving on the bracket. And I'm gonna tell you right now, my man was stressing a bit. He said, should I pick the rose or should I go with the poison flow? He threw it off the backboard though. He said, <laughs> he threw it off the backboard. I actually wasn't ready for that joke. Yo, Mono, <laughs> that's how you feel today? Are you good, Mono? That's you good? how you feel today. You good, Mono? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's actually ridiculous, yo. I'm telling you, that was the matchup I was looking forward to all weekend. Yeah, or no, man, it's been a long, long time coming. We've been contemplating how the hell are we going to get back. Well, guess what? We've got it in full effect here. And again, we're just going through the loser's bracket. This is where all the sharks come to play. This is tournament life on the line. And I do appreciate the color schemes from both. Yes, sir. Yes, Aesthetically sir. pleasing. He matching his character. That's super sick. But, you know, that's a character that he's loved, you know, to see him come through with the ropes and to see the page above, I'm sure he was happy. We're talking about that round start, right? We're looking at the ground pound primarily. What an anti-air. That was even uppercut. That was just crouching heavy punch. Absolutely ready for any sort of approach. Up to snuff. Playing the passive game already with that V-Skill. Look at how much bar he's created for himself to get into V-Trigger. Within a few interactions, and it, look at that. You're trying to zone V-Skill card up. None of that's going to happen because of the ground pound. Once again, bad situation. Up to snuff. Already got V-Trigger early in the round. Oh, that was a the little overzealous. The throw. I, I, Slightly overzealous. I don't know what Up to Stuff was trying to do. He was definitely Up to Stuff. I thought he was going to continue it with at least a standing normal big crush counter from Filipino Man. Watch out for that trigger activation from the side of Rose. Speaking of, wow. Stuff is about to go back to normal man instead of Super Saiyan. Ran out of power. No more key. But no can... sense of beans here. It's in the training mode. <laughs> Goku. Right, he's in for the situation. Activation. Filipino Man has some of the best custom combos in the business. And he Very has to take, yeah. yeah. If, if he takes that throw, he has to quick rise it because Rose now has an OTG. That's exactly it. Yo, Filipino Man, he's kept the sequence multiple times where he leads oh, the plus frames and either it's going to be a frame trap or a throw. And I like that option of just going with the throw. Mm -hmm. And he gets to keep the bar at the bottom too. Fall Jesus! Explosion and the conversion of the DP. He's so ready. So steady. Quick with it and quick with it. Soul Punish just being so obnoxious, actually, for a lot of players. This is going to be huge. Man, shades of Street Fighter 4. Filipino man using, utilizing that piece so well. The dunk from Snuff. The shimmy on him. That mini plus work confirmable, and there it is. Puts him in the corner. The throw. Zarpa Rose, no Ooh. reframe. Oh, it actually hit him. One more touch to seal it. EX the connect. classic. That Added is a it. Filipino man staple. Wake up, EX so spiral. No anti-air. That was way too sharp of, uh, of an approach. Yeah, DP don't reach over that head to swing off the feet. Go me over there. Can make the comeback. And the oh takeaway. Look. The EX. You're the actually hella dead. Wow. Filipino, man. What an option. My man walk up, stand medium kick to avoid the throw altogether. Oh, and you know sweet. why? You know why that happened? He had conditioned up to stuff prior with his previous activation in that last round, That's or true. the previous round, with nothing but throws, right? Plus frame activation into a throw, and then get himself started with that sequence. This time around, he immediately went for the next option, right? Mm -hmm. After phase A, you got to get ready for phase B. Man, there's also C, D, and E, when it, especially when it comes to Filipino man. He's going to have more in store, and that beat trigger is so strong this season. As you were pointing out, you have to quick rise. You have to hold the throw. And at that point, you're eating all this damage, and there's still bar at the bottom. Round one. It's, it's actually so it's good. Actually hella when good. You, again, when Rose throws you while in V-Trigger, it actually pauses this time. Yeah, the, the meter doesn't go away like it used to. That's exactly why people were able to just stay on the ground. It's like, you know, I'll take that. That's totally fine. He's going to run out of V-Trigger. Feels good. All right, ground there pound trade. trade. Uh, uh, uh. Right, put him up. Yeah, go him man. Walking back like that, not trying to get opened up, and I like him using the walks to get underneath. A little bit of a hesitation there from up to snuff. Again, trying to go for these dive kicks have not paid off. Filipino man is going to be taking the most of it off the wall. 
nice and easy. Harlem Globetrotters. Filipino man has been dealing with the Visco. I mean, the Visco's been a problem for, you know, building a bar for up to stuff. We haven't seen anything else as these rounds go down. As it goes through, you know, we haven't seen much in terms of the neutral from up to What is this? With it. Monday is too ready Filipino to man it. is is hitting everything right now. You saw the fierce convergence in the soul, soul arrows, as you have pointed out. You've been on point with it, not letting it whip. And the pressure, the pressure even more so. Filipino man just gaining that estate against up to snuff, slowly pushing to the corner. One confirm could actually go into critical art. It doesn't even matter. Actually went for the full target combo. Double EX into the EX soul spiral. Filipino man 2-0. It's been very convincing Whoa, so wins. far in all of the matches in top eight. It's not been blow for blow. It's a sweep, bro. But it's not over just yet. Let's see if Up to Stuff can find an answer. He's looking a little puzzled as to how to deal with this Rose because honestly, as we had talked about before, you can fight Rose, but can you fight Filipino Man's Rose? You fight a person that embodies the character. And this is a character that he's been looking forward to playing for a very long time. <laughs> Once those changes happen, man, he was... I, I bet you for sure he was jumping for joy when he was watch, uh, reading these patch notes. He was pretty positive even prior. I talked to him at the, the Capcom Cup season finals, and he was like, yeah, Rose, you know, she's good. She just has a few uh, bad matchups. And that was prior to getting that long scroll of changes, and he's using them all to full effect. Round he is one. on game point against up to snuff. And again, we're talking about that V-Skill usage, right? At the very beginning of game number one, up to Snuff had actually built his V-Trigger without taking any life. You would have thought he was in the deficit. Mm -hmm. But no, it was the fact that he's landed so many of these V-Skills. But now, Filipino man, got that crush counter earlier. See that up to Snuff has switched triggers to He wants to be in the uh, permanent power-up, permanent Super Saiyan mode. Filipino man, just stocking up full screen. Even though he gets knocked out, he's going to take some damage and let him throw that V-Bar because he's confident enough that you come in, I'm gonna get my win. I'm gonna get a lot more damage going. Filipino Man still has a fat lead. Here's the activation though. Up to Snuff with the back throw. It's gonna be very important. Absolutely vital now. Up to Snuff needs to keep this pressure up. Filipino Man has been well known to throw out some trickery to get out of the corner. That fierce conversion is gonna be huge. Look at the damage racking up. Can he go into another trap? Here we go. So butter. Oh, on the delay oh, rise! Right. Oh, on You're the delay rise! Tell me you blocked that! You are an absolute liar if you told me you blocked that. You ain't blocked that. Look at people in the crowd saying they blocked. They shaking their heads. Cause you'd be a liar if you did. Now set points. Filipino man with the mix to do it. Looking like a bartender. Serving up up the snuff. At that distance of whip punch with the fierce. Oh, he's punch drunk right now. I'll Ooh. tell you what. Filipino man has been landing all of the shots against up to snuff. He's continuously moving back and forth to just avoid the B skill overall. Up to snuff does have a trigger, but how is he going to use it? No punish. We'll use that oh, silver. Yes. He needs us to put him in the corner. And it's enhanced. Extra damage. Put that trigger on deck, but it's still going to be all oh, Ooh, boy. something yesterday, but stuff. He's been watching the stream. Stays clean and blocks it out. That's unfortunate. Oh. That round off was caught airborne, and it's enough for Filipino Man to land safely and get this punish. And now the sequence. Actually seven, seven. close. He could critical art for Chip, but it doesn't even matter. The throw is enough. 3-0 over up to snuff, Filipino Rose man wins. advancing even further in the bracket from loser's side. Fantastic play from Filipino man, as per expected, with the mix and also the defense too. You've got to give credit to Rose players because honestly, you see all that cool stuff, the combos and stuff like that, the damage, but when you get put in the corner, when you get knocked into the corner by a character with command grabs and things like that, that's when the medal is tested and right. Filipino man stays solid. We're both studying the, look, look, at the, the look mirror <laughs> as they were getting ready to face each other. Again, he's no stranger to danger, right? Chris right, CCH right, right. is more than willing to share the tech just so he can find ways to improve himself. Men RD is definitely that same kind of cat, but it's not gonna be Luke versus Luke, it's gonna be the ball rock play. And wow. I am I am so such I am such a fan of how explosive he can be with this ball rock. We saw the Street Fighter League, right? Fantastic play that he came through and people were like, I don't think he got a ball rock. But he's proving you wrong. The toolkit that he has with these characters, he implements his game plan on everything. And a Wallsy character that you could do this with, with Balrog, you could be with, with Balrog, I mean, yes. is perfect for him. Absolutely perfect for him. If it's not the aggressive bowl with Birdie, it's definitely the Raging Buffalo with Balrog. And we're going to see that in play today against Chris CCH. We'll see if, uh, if MMA prevails over boxing. We'll <laughs> see. Know. Everybody got plans to get punched in the mouth. Well, now, yeah, you're gonna space those out perfectly because that crouching line punch is one of the best in the business in terms of finding a punish or landing a target combo. Oh. What an interruption! Ooh. What was that crouch jab interrupted against Chris CCH with the target combo? I mean, 
Buffer. The back, the right for the EX. Again, minus four situation with Chris. No, that was me. Oh, yeah, that was right, me. Right. That was me. Protein. I mean, from an RD. Oh, that was Ooh. too deep. He wasn't ready for the uppercut. No anti air right there. Left some low on the counter hit. Doesn't finish oh, it. Oh, no. Watch out now. Whoa. Oh, my. Are so you dead? No, not quite. Oh. One man was looking for the legs. He's like, yo, focus <laughs> up here. My eyes are up here. <laughs> Chrissy CSJ, a little bit too risky. Oh, oh. no flash knuckle here. Challenge zone wake up with the three frame again. Oki, it's a conversion to four piece once again. It's continuous. Oh, to hold it. Nice challenge. And Back row now. This yeah. is going to be huge. Mena RD again with a meaty dash punch. For CCH still finds his way with the target combo. Into the trigger activation. Also, look at the sequence. Another throw. But what happens afterwards? The four defensive normals are too powerful. Christopher. Swaptimal. CCH. Swaptimal. I'm telling you, man, those target combos, counter it after counter it, CCH, clean counter it. That's exactly what it stands for. I'm not making this up, I promise. You know what? Look at that now. What a whip rush. A part the distance. I like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. just so ambiguous with his approach. That EX just coming out of the woodwork. Mena RD. Ooh. Damn! That fierce came out of nowhere! But here's the back on the dash up. Heavy kick meaty. Oh, so meaty. Oh. What yeah, a check from Mena RD. And look at this damage. It's going to be corner to corner. Oh, he breaks the, the reset. Down. Absolutely breaks the reset. I'm trying to hold a damn thing. It's activation. Speed trigger too. Talking about activation. That's exactly a good point right now. Yes, Chris mm -hmm. CCH blows up the neutral jump. Man, RD still trying to keep it ambiguous. He has to make that dash punch safe. That is what a big punish. Not going to be enough damage, but this is where the corner control happens. Man, RD, can he actually seal it against Chris, or will he force the error instead? Yes. The sprays and the space trap like that. The space trap like that. I'm telling you, man. That's off a bit. You think he's so safe? smart. Oh, he is so dude. smart. He knows exactly when to let off the gas pedal mm -hmm. and force the error against the opp opposition. Exactly when you think you're safe to press a button. Boom. Bam. Round Crouching one. medium punch to seal it right. into the confirm. Mena RD tying it early. He's getting game number one. I like, the range I like the range that he stands in. Around that fierce range for ball raw. Just to get a crush for the the fireball. But Chris decides to put fist to face. Mm. That, man, letting that stun settle. This definitely will hurt. <laughs> that plus level connected. Oh my yeah, god, my Jack Cabeza from up above. Chris in the cranium, blessing the dome. Off the low. Uh, uh, yeah, watch out for that grab. Oh, the wake you up gotta right. Be kidding me. What a challenge. He was that wake up. And RG wasn't watching out for it. Rotation of options oh with the my light into the dash punch. To seal it, Mena RD. Despite the violence that Chris CCH is showing, he's still throwing. Right. Mena RD is still putting the pressure on and not backing down. He crouched jab. He actually, he actually <laughs> contested that. <laughs> Man, my voice is cracking. <laughs> it don't matter. Yeah. EX low. It's hard not to get high because Mena RD space. His placement, his violence right back to Chris CCH. Someone that's so aggressive. Uh, uh. The CCH again, he's had a very, very clean track record as of last year and even going into this year. But man, you face off against someone like Mena RD, he doesn't give a damn who you are. He's going to bust through you like every other opposition he's gone to. Watch out for that. I oh, love the interruption. interruption. Nobody no. has done that the entire weekend. And I no like fear for Mena RD. And you have to spin the V bar to deal with it. Nice calm. I'm calm in the corner. Punch me, kick. The CCH oh. trying about to come back to return over. See, can he make it happen, Needy? That was so good. Oh, that was hella needy. Oh, oh. 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 Mm. cracking under the pressure. Mana RD, he's been here on the big stage before. Oh, okay. He's trying to test, test the young fella. My man is definitely all about the, the, the noise, the energy. Look at him, he ain't got no headphones on. Oh, he loves this. He, he digs this energy, man. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, man. There's something about the Dominican Round Republic one. that just thrives off of right. this energy, man. He is a spirit bomb, you know what I'm saying? He really is. Remember at Capcom Cup, he looked back when he fights Okita when he's on the brink, and he looked at his people and said, I got this. I got it. He got it. He might got it right now. Game point right here. Chris CCH being stuffed as he comes in. He's not interrupting. Oh. He's finding a buffer in the throw right after and putting Chris CCH in a couple of positions in the corner. And there's the activation plus frames afterwards. Checking the movement primarily. Man, RD not budging. He's throwing a lot of the fierces to counterbook Chris CCH. Now that Chris is weary, he can't advance as much. 
I love it. Yes, the pun is overzealous for men RD. Now in this mid range game yet again. Four Pierce trying to find a crush. No go. Charge a B ship. This time, the B ship punish. In the meter hit. Once again, men RD on set point situation. Round two. You about to take the CCH away and put it on Mena RD's behalf. That was a clean counter hit. Checking the meaties as well. Chris CCH now in dire straits. Back against the wall. What are you going to do about this crazy buffalo? Mena RD has not stopped pressing buttons. He's currently on the road to getting Chris CCH eliminated. Can he actually do it? Chris CCH, nothing to answer with so far. Mena RD backing down just a little bit. Here comes his activation. It might be his saving grace. Charge up a little block. Take the turn back like that to EX. Chris. Trying to work his way out of the corner. He's got so much bar, but Minardi puts him in the corner once again. The XTP. Chris with the bust out. The cry of desperation does find the mark. Chris CCH, a little bit of time to lax. Find a plan against Men RD. But the offense just might be too much. That V skill too, putting in the work. So much mileage on that. Extension. Try to catch the walk back to the crouch. Munich kick. EX, V skill activation. Will he be able to block all this? I like that Minardi just backs up a bit. Trying to finish Dear it God. for the defensive jab. Dash up DP, standing off set point. It's not over. It's not over here, Nobel. It's not I over. I hear Nobel. And again, that fierce situation tries to stop. The now, whip punish. Fine, it's what we the fierce before. connection. He's going to let these things fly. Back up a bit, get the whip punch, put him in the corner. EX, right with the V skill. Oh, the trade. Oh, you so nasty, Chris. I thought that was going to be a trade call. We were about to see an exhibition. Mm. Execution. Uppercut. Oh, even better. We'll take that. <laughs> Challenge? Yeah, saw that coming a mile away. Now it's Blaster in the play, put you in with the EX. The EX Sand Blaster in your face? Oh, get oh. off me! That crotchy jab, so much work. One more hit oh. with the beast kill right through, but Chris knows what to do. At that space, and now, Chris, I feel like is backing up to let the whiff, the Ooh. whiff dash watches yes. come through, find a punish, and make Mina already have to come to him to get the win. It's getting difficult. I'm telling you, man, it's a whole different story when it comes to three out of five. Usually, mm -hmm. if you have one game Round remaining, one. everything can change. Chris CH right. on the path to do that right now. We'll see how it plays out. Mena RD slowly getting that download against them. Again, same shot with that fierce. Let's stop the fireballs if they come through. Or you can lift the buttons too. Ooh. Target combo punch on the mark. Ooh, and my there's God. that nerf. Plus frames afterwards, EX, but he's sending it to force Chris CCH into this corner. Big interruption, but you are going to get him get punished if you're overzealous with that target combo. Checking the movement yet again, that low opener. Find More than enough. He's going to go to the D skill, V reversal immediately. He's some distance with it. And then he's that space to play with that fierce and set up shot with the dash punches to make, not make the minus. He saw the punches on him now. Chris is now up punching with the EX low. Look at his toes. And I, I feel like Mena RD has had a lot of success with that dash swing low, that EX so quick to check CCH. Oh my god, the counter hit there. Uh, uh, and EX, oh regular, you still get that damage, you didn't even have to spend a bar? My man gets a buy one, get one free deal, I feel like every day of the week. Where are you shopping for that? I, I want to do that. All right, Mena RD has to get that momentum back. This will definitely help the three-piece corner carry. Dash up, the things are getting scary. But the defensive jabs from Chris CCH, he's switching up his timing. Before it was immediately, but now a little delay. That's a good call out because you're starting to see and recognize the patterns that Mana RD, how he wants to play his offense primarily. He's just been blown up a couple of times now by Chris. Putting the fierce back on the table. So here's the exiting activation. And it's such a threat, too. That standing heavy punch, just well within range. Mena RD has established that he's willing to play that footsie game in that range against Chris. Chris actually hasn't been susceptible to that crush counter since. Oh, the but he's skill. susceptible to that. So to hold the pressing buds when he shouldn't in the super. Neutral uh -huh. jump to nerf the DP oh apply. God. Chris CCH waited, waited and waited. Forever and a day. I was actually mad nervous. That neutral Ooh. jump had actually Tipping clipped it. Chris CCH last time, but he was absolutely ready for the uppercut into the critical arc and the stare down from Mena RD, thinking to himself, I just had the 2-0 lead. What happened? What it's happened? It's time to dissect. The question is, will he take his time to go into character select? No, he's no, going into it. In. It's going to be all momentum for these two individuals. Meno RT, he's not going to back down. He's not going to change characters. It's going to be ball up all the way. See what the play is. 
Chris is pushing with the corner to get those lights. He's doing a lot of work, and I feel like Chris is doing a fantastic job. But he can't block the dash punches. We're going for the walk-in throw. Or get the crouch meaning kick too as well. Switching up the option to deal with that minus four situation. Ooh, the, the interruption. Check. No counter hit, but he does convert it off of this one. Mm -hmm. EX flash couple into the uppercut. Oh. Corner carry. Uh, coast uh. to coast. Make this man give up the ghost. And I like that. He's not spending any more of that trigger to advance because he's already got him in the corner, right? Spending that EX bar was all he needed to apply his pressure. Mm. Finds the opening yet again. No more trigger left, but Chris ECA busts out with a rocket uppercut. You know, did he change up the timings when he comes with these dash punches? I feel like he's been a little too aggressive. Now he's backing down a bit. Change up the rhythm, the tempo. Hand me the off. Oh my god, I pressed the button in my mind and I got destroyed. I got blown up. Nordy's still in it. Plus frames afterwards. The interruption again! Chris, clean counter hit CCH. On set point back from the break. Uh, uh. And again, walking up with the throat. You can't get a full whip punish. You want to get something going. Nordy fighting back. Trying to find a crush with the heavy. So tense. And look at this, man. Just this comeback. Chris CCH, Ooh. as confident as ever, finds the counter hit yet again. I'm telling you, that's CCH. Oh my god, again! Beast. That is CCH! But the wake up target combo, he's the activation. Reset, but the defense from Chris just blocked like a pack of again. Legos. But again, the press, the Another. beast skill. Chris CCH! CCH! Taking over Mena RD! Over Mena RD, a Capcom Cup champion! And how we can see what's to come right now. IDOM versus Mono PR in the winners' finals. We're not going there just yet, ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen. We still have quite the journey down below. Kaba versus Filipino Man is currently what's up next. And then, of course, Shine versus Chris CCH. I am so curious about this match because we have seen Filipino Man deal with some gals in, uh, in, his, in his past, previously before the, uh, the patch. We've seen him play Luigi. We've seen him play the well, Nephew a little bit too. Uh, but at the caliber of Kaba, I don't know. I don't know if he's ready for someone who's so aggressive, who is so yeah. walk forward with you know, so, All the other guy players love to stick with the zoning play. Oh, we picked someone else. Oh no, with never the mind. G, and the it's in G. fact the G, right? We were talking about that. It doesn't matter how much you practice something on paper. Right. We've had this conversation before. Mm -hmm. And you made a very valid, very valid point that the fact of the matter is, it depends on how the player utilizes right. the, 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 the tools that this character has, right? Kaba, being the aggressive that he is, one thing comes to mind. How Round often one. are you going to get got <laughs> with this command grab? We'll see G with that presidentiality still strong this season. I was one of the big proponents of this character this season. It says he's still strong, and Kaba has played him in Street Fighter League and multiple other tournaments too as well. Let's see how it works out against Filipino Man. But it's a whole different Rose, man. This is the Rose to look forward to. Filipino Man does get the crush counter, setting up the Soul Punish. A lot of activity here. Kaba tries to get away, but the Soul Punish tracks him down. There's the wheel kick. A big important attack. That was very delayed too. A right giant there. jump into stuff, but no, it wasn't deep enough. My man hit the top of the hat instead. The thin crust, no deep dish, activation to get that DP, but unfortunate timing. Fades away from the slide, but the throw applied. Filipino man knows he has to take this. No, another drop, but no oh my activation. God. It's a solid, not too greedy, but no punish. This is kind of tough. The V skill catching Filipino man. Oh, that jump, that was actually interesting. The collusion, but v still. Saves him. The crush and the pickup with the back fist. Check my wrist. I was going to say the collision, but man, I'm messing up. Kaba, again, as you said, the flick of the wrist towards the end. Filipino man actually was close to taking it down. There was a moment where he could have got a confirm into critical art. True. Just happened to drop it. Kaba now on the aggression, on the offense. The crush counter is there. Filipino man, yeah, target combo into the full throw. The full punch to set up. Ooh. You ain't blocking that. Well, guess what? He's going to be jumping out of the way. It doesn't matter. He doesn't need to block it. What a way to avoid it. Now Kaba sitting pretty with the lead. Not getting open at that fort. Heavy kick trying to find a crush against the fireball preemptively. Talking with the V skill. Here's that soul satellite to punish as well. The wheel kick finds the mark. No projectiles can stop this man. And here's the activation. Throw. The soul illusion. Jump, jump back. back. Oh, but not enough of a defense attack. Stop Filipino man. Look at that. Oh, I love it. And the continuation. So, yeah. 
my God. Philip this guy Edelman. Is near or far wherever you are, I'll tell you what, yeah. man. He's saying a power <laughs> ballad. This guy is everywhere, all at once. That EX Marvel has been the tail that takes a lot for Philip Edelman, but the EX connects using the rush punch and the B skill for that Oki. In the corner, I'd like to see more of that pressure oh. that G can put on, but oh. the command grab committed to it. Philip Edelman was out of their head. The interruption up. from Cobb with the bravery from that stand jab. Let to block it out. Beecher, you gotta hold this. He actually does, yeah. There's the throw. He has a good run. Plus frames again. Excellent time to view reversal. That trigger is gonna be winding down. Filipino Man is now gonna be imposing that threat with Soul Punish. Soul Spire, excuse me. There you go. Soul Satellite no longer a problem. V reversal. Kind of win some situations. That means no, no uh, B trigger, but here is the EX. You don't get grabbed. The flip kick would have chased him on the B ship. You could have used so many things, but you chose the flip kick to make sure it was active enough Jeez. to get it. Yo, Dang. Yo, DR built different. They built different. That was actually a godlike read. That was hella sick. What were you going to do about that? Ain't no stopping that. No, no. You're just dying tired. We should be in the corner, and then you're dying tired. Trust me, no good citizen for that one. Round one. Kaba again with the aggressive Break. array of, I got to say, multiple options on defense. Mm -hmm. Very, very impressive uh, offense. Mm -hmm. Had the proper reads against Filipino, man. Again, he's just looking to be as active with his normals and even the fireball game. Try and bleach that uh, Fierce before it comes to problem. And in that this is the Fierce. Go for the uh, level up. It's that level is even harder for Filipino, man, to stop the momentum of this character. But just go for the Oki, the Fierce on the Shimmy. And the oh command grab finally wins. It was only a matter of time. When G gets yes. picked, you already know that command grab is coming. There is a specific quota all G players must hit, and that is land the command grab. It's like five a day. That's a lot. You got to shoot five free throws before you leave the gym. Yeah. You got to land five command grabs before you turn off the cards. In a row. In a row. In a row. Filipino man now stocked up. Full stick of butter on that critical arc. Kava still trying to find that spacing. Comfortable enough to counter Filipino Man. There's a big counter hit, or excuse me, a big counter poke from that standing heavy punch. But Kaba still no real threat to him. He's going to be swinging either way. The wheel kick still catching that standing heavy punch against Filipino Man. Walking down to the fireball every so often. I'm wondering if the EX up or be fast enough to catch these lingering buttons. But the EX comes through for the flip kick against the fireball. Oh, and space with the four fears too as well. The challenge! The interruption! The challenge. No fear in his heart! To command the command grab. grab! That's number two! Watch out for that stun! It's almost done! One touch! Command oh, no, the beast! I get it! I totally yeah, get it! We said five, it you're at three. Mm -hmm. It's okay. He shifted the break. Still in the corner. Kaba. Man, Filipino man is not flinching, but at that point, too close for comfort. The scarf or the chain, mm. that heavy punch actually <laughs> got wins. stuffed by the fireball. He's, I mean, that heavy punch has been a big problem for a lot of players this entire weekend. Because as we pointed out, the RPS with the fireball, you're going to cancel the special cancelable uh, normals and things like that. But he's using the, the fireball from his Jesus, end did you see that range even. of movement? I felt like my shoulder popped just he's watching. Like, bah, 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 bah. Damn, I'm old. This guy, I can't tell how old he is. He put his arms around his back. He had like another arm grow up in the middle. I don't know. Are those trapezius muscles or is that another PS4 controller? I can't tell. <laughs> I genuinely Ooh. cannot tell. I can't either. I can't tell right now what Filipino man needs to do to route it back like that because we are seeing a lot of the defensive options get blown up and Cabo's committing so much that I feel like Filipino man's like, he would never do it again. Another right. command grab lands. It might be the end as Kaba is on game point. It's, it's funny enough that you mentioned that because even if you commit to the command grab, hitting two out of three is still pretty good. Yeah, man. it's real good. That's a lot of damage. That's fast. Soul Punish, occupying the space now. Kaba still able to get a little bit of normals. That full Fierce to check Filipino Man before the advance. One of the biggest things right now is the fact that Filipino Man is stuck in this corner against the G. He's about to be. This man's victory. He's the activation, though. Filipino Man. He's got to make the most of it. Kaba willing to be reversal. Again, SG. not this time. Soul Illusion. Not putting in as much work as intended, but Filipino man, that's okay. Mm. We still have the critical arc. This is gonna be more than enough. Yes, no time to ask if it's trying to kill, because it definitely will. <laughs> Don't put that on stage at three. The Gallic gun to get it done. Filipino man fighting back. He's gonna get that bar back in round two or three, if need be. 
currently at the moment, I think, yeah, he's got more than enough time to rebuild that critical art. But at the same time, it's like he's going to be playing a lot of this spacing game, right? That background house, even the stand heavy punch. Check it with the low forward confirm. I like that. Also, he's like using a lot more of these cards instead of going for the soul satellite because he's able to stock up. And even if he's not making the most out of these situations, he's building up V bar. Oh, that was sick. The jumping oh, call up situation in the corner once again. No fair man, been living here. Might as well be paying rent first of the month. Oh boy. It's about to be actually. Oh yes, the OGG because it was a crush counter. No stopping that. Look at the custom combo. Listen here. Filipino Matt. Okay. She takes down. I thought he was gonna go for an instant overhand. In the throw. One more touch. E and connects Filipino Man. What a close out. And part of me believes that to get that V-Bar with the quickness Rose earlier wins. in these rounds to go down, he's been using that new V-Skill, the card. And again, if he's not getting that most often from a meter gain or extra damage, it doesn't matter. He's doing a V-Bar with the quickness. That's right, yeah. I think that's ever so important. We've seen the amount of damage he gets off of Soul, uh, Soul Illusion. That V-Trigger activation has been pivotal to his gameplay. And Kaba feeling the effects just a little Round bit. One. We don't want to see similar results as to what happened with Ben RD, right? He was up two oh. games and then fell short, but barely. Kaba is trying not to repeat those same results. Alternate reality. Got crazy to see this one. Off the low, the three piece and the knockdown. The lower. Oh, Four the pierce. rush. You have the button stop before you man for pressing. Oh, that's a big mishap on both ends, actually. And that's the end, Kaba. Back on set point. That was actually a close call, right? Kaba actually had Round let go two. of the pressure. There was one big mistake that did not go punished. Filipino man wasn't able to get himself started from that opening. A lot more aerial approach from Kaba. He's looking at Filipino man, using a lot more of these skills. Oh. Takes his guys and no surprise. It's get difficult for Filipino oh. man to fight answer back. Never mind, commentator's curse. Okay. Some distance. There's the activation. Check the legs, check the movement. There's the throw. You better quit rise. Plus frames again. Perfect time to V reversal. Eliminating the threat of the illusion. I know what's real and what's not. V reversal once again. Kaba was in that V bar to go far to keep that pressure. A fifth style. The grab, he's dead. Oh, the back one. Oh, I knew my it. God. I knew it. I so called it. Filipino, man. I called it. If he gets command grab, he's dead. Filipino man. The wake up oh, option. In the heavy kick to steal it, and Filipino man out. Kaba! Man said, Bruja! What? Bruja! What does that mean? Remember back in the day he was uh, pretty that angry means, at Colleen? That means, that means witch in yeah, my language. Yeah, that's how I know Kaba from. When I was, you know, heard him shouting, Bruja! Bruja! <laughs> and one of the characters. But man, that 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 uh, passion that he has outside is also inside the game too as well. And he's used against Mana and take it down to proceed. We'll see if that situation Ooh. ever has to occur again against someone like China. <laughs> but we talk oh, about the greats, great. right? There's right. a lot of emphasis on the West Coast, a lot of emphasis on the Midwest. But as you mentioned during that exhibition, we don't want any smoke against the East Coast. Oh no, we really don't. Some of the greats are from there. Shine used to happen to be one of those pillars now. And you called it. He's comfortable with going the, with the Abuki pick to start off the Round day. Let's one. see what the play is going to be. Shine versus Chris CCH. Very active right now. Shine, again, pretty much throwing down a lot of that V skill, building up a little bit of that gauge. Crouching medium punch buffered behind it just in case as well earlier in the start, doing it again. We'll get with too much space as much as possible. And on the Ford heavy kick range, the medium range, the V skill range, as you pointed out, for target combo from Chris CCH. Force is trying to back off on Wake Up. One of the things I like about this matchup in particular is not the striking, it's not the mix-ups, it's the walk speed from Ibuki, getting in and out of the ranges that Chris CCH is comfortable with. The counter hit, nothing to convert off of. Chris CCH, clever, very clever to get himself out of the corner. That V skill too, it doesn't pay gas, man. I'm telling you, that is an electric vehicle. There's so much mileage on that. Activation. Chris CCH getting opened up. Nasty. He let it loose a little bit too late. Oh no, oh, the man. man Kuna and Chris CCH gonna capitalize. No surprise. We're gonna see a super. <laughs> Did you see this man, Chris CCH, walk forward on Wake Up? Right. He had the read against no Shine. Way. We were about to see the Sien Ender, mm -hmm. but that wasn't gonna come to play. It's the unblockable. So the best way to get an unblockable, don't get hit. That's bars, actually. Oh, dang, actually. We'll put that on a shirt. Chris CCH, just don't get hit. Yeah, just don't get hit. 
There you go, combo breaker. There you go. <laughs> oh Ooh. my god, that was a charge flash. I you get extra on that. Free of charge. On the side. Flip out. Benefit shine to not have to eat a target combo, but still. Doesn't enough damage here. And it's hard for Rabuki in general. Doesn't do a lot of damage. Stand by the opening with the Ace Kunai. Biggest part oh, of the toolkit. Too sharp of an angle for a proper anti air. I don't even think back medium punch would have been able to catch. So, again, Shine, very weary of the approach. I'd like to see more DPs. Chris Checking the medium kick. Yeah, Shine really trying to take a turn. Man, that was way too sharp of an angle. We talked about EX Kunai being one of the approaches, but if you press the wrong strength, Chris ECH is going to be bypassing that. But look at this. Here comes the mix. Same side. The Kunai actually missed. The Shuriken, I should say, completely. I like that he's popping that. When Chris ECH has bar, you have to worry about V-Ship or V-Reversal or any of that. Now, cough in the corner. Damn, Call that was corner. a shallow Kunai. That hit like a pinky toe. Woo! You better block. Uh, uh, uh. That's so violent. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, so that jab. What a confirm from Chris ECH. Can't be serious, yo. Wow. You can't be serious. You're actually wild, bro. You're actually wild for that one. That actually caught him. Ooh, I'm telling you, Queen cool counter hit. CCH. Yeah. I'm not making up that lore. That's the bro. new name. Change it right now, Chris CCH. I don't care, bro. It's. I mean, that's fine. He can just keep it as an acronym. Okay. We can't. We can't fit that in production. I'll tell you what, man. There's way too many letters at the top <laughs> of the screen. But I'll tell you what. Right now, Chris CCH, with a very, very impressive start to the game, to the set, I should say, against Shine. A couple of mishaps, I will say, from Shine's behalf. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. The placement of the Inks Kunai. And just in general, I like his game plan to wait until Chris ECH activates V Trigger so he can run a mix, but the defense, the defensive time and blocking of Chris ECH has uh, made him get that win. And now the Cody, the peanut butter and jelly, <laughs> with a forbidden noose Deal from mind. Shine. I feel like majority of us haven't eaten bro, this morning. It, can you not? Every time I feel like we get on the mic, there's definitely some food references. Man, but the <laughs> you gotta stop with that, bro. You gotta stop with that. Uh, yeah, I'm over here struggling. Round one. I'm, I'm not a sweaty guy, but I'll tell you what, you talk about food, I'm gonna get that way. Shine now with the switch into Cody, right? I think this helps out in neutral play because Cody's buttons are definitely better. And that medium kick is a good starter. Good a lot of that great life and good advanced normal. I yeah. now challenging the death. It, it, it is an excellent vulnerable normal too. Like just being able to kind of throw that out. Not vulnerable, but excuse me. Being able to link it to things if he manages to get a counter in. Oh boy, the big interruption. Plus frames afterwards. What are you gonna do about the Zong? Control mix. Covering his tracks afterwards. The big tech. Sandblaster. No, I should say trigger one. Back to back trigger one. There's the Sandblaster pursuit. Air to air right there. And the medium kick. To finish it. Oh, Ooh. no whip punish. A little bit of a tease. Chris CCH now does get the side switch, but it doesn't matter. Shine with a nice and steady standing light kick. Round two. Fight. I like this play from Shine. You see how comfortable he is in this full range game, in the close range game. And that medium kick and the sway the will come through. You've got to be careful too. My it's man, gonna be predictive. It's going to be predictive. Dodge right? his bullets like he's in the Matrix. He just watched that bypass and be like, oh, I'm fine. I got it. <laughs> Plus frames, blocks the low, just answering back with two feet, knocks it down with the and gets the throw. Oh. Feel comfortable. The interruption again wow. from Shine now busts out of the corner. Ooh. EX rocket up or he's not afraid. Throw up like volume. This is CX socket with the V skill immediately. We got the pop by arms now. Can of spinach activated. Shine now. Target combo into the trigger. Fades him out nice and clean. Cut him up. A surgical procedure. Look at the accuracy. Look at the damage. The it doesn't matter. He's got two arms. Oh. He's got rockets for arms. Three dangerous angle and the target combo right on the mark. Chris ECH. Staving off that forbidden new I knew we should have put those uh, scrolls of neutral way. <laughs> they got into the wrong hands, Cola. Steal them away. Oh, the crush. I like this. Standing uh, head to kick every so often, every these mediums. The catch a button needs to be implemented a lot more from Shine. Trying to do so. Oh, but the but ACP too far mm. out. the timing. It was the, I think it was just the timing of the activation timing. from the trigger, to be honest with you. Perfect. It wasn't going to be meaty enough to interrupt. Huh? Me, it, me, me. I was waiting for that. <laughs> it's, so, it's so interesting to hear that on the loudspeaker. <laughs> I was waiting. I was, I was thinking about that all weekend. Either way, Chris CCH, definitely more than enough to clean it up. We already knew it was a done deal as soon as he got that activation because of the amount of life left Ooh, on Shine's wins. behalf. It is now a significant, even more significant lead. Two mm. to zero against Shine. A little bit of a side eye there. You can see Shine, the stressors are kicking in just a little bit.
at a little bit of a crossroads too. Does he continue with Cody? Yes, yes he does. Sir. Immediately into the rematch. The sway, dodging bullets. Commit with it. I can see that presented more often at some spaces, just to build the B-Bar a little bit quicker. And like to see more of the beach being used that forbidden noose with the knife. Makes the crouching light kick and things like that a lot more dangerous. Also oh. the zones, but Chris ECH is too aggressive. So the crouching kick is it with a DP. Ooh, in the shimmy a little bit. Very, very sneaky. Yeah, the roundhouse action does get whipped, punished by Shine a little bit too far out there. Ready with the button press. And here comes the North. That's not a North. North. This is a North. <laughs> Popeye arms, can of spinach activated. Already jumping on this character. Oh. And you're dead oh. with CCH on set point. And you can see him flopping in his seat. He's feeling the momentum. No pressure on the young man, but Shine currently at a deficit. We've seen what happens in one game. Can he actually amass a comeback? That's one big mistake against Chris CCH. The stun is racking up. Option to select against the jump out. Fantastic challenge on the dash in. Chris has him in the corner. Can he keep that momentum of activation? This has been a big tie turner. It's hard for Cody to deal with this, to be honest. Oh. With heavy kick, yeah, takes back control of that minus two situation. Yeah, covering his tracks after the target combo, but still, speaking of target combos, we got the final fight one. That was a meaty right in the legs. You are no longer able to walk. That is a kill. Cutting the tendons. That is a kill. That's a kill. Cut the tendons right there. Shine with the crouching like it a lot more. And I like to catch the walk back. The oh. extension, but the jump in oh. situation off the back for EX. And double down with the DP. Oh my oh, god. Look at, Look at the little free. Look at the damage. Oh. He should chase him. Woo. Very close to stun. Oh, and the shimmy. That's going to be just enough. I feel like the Popeye arms are going to be enough. Oh. Look at the oh damage. Chris. CCH eliminating Shine with the seven golden letters. Oh my God. What is in his drink? I gotta say this, in terms of tournament results, mm -hmm. this man Mono PR puts on for first attack in Puerto Rico time and time again. And it's always one of those events that is like, damn, I wish I could have been there too. Oh, I'm going this year. I'm going this year. I saw what y'all were doing last year. I said, I'm, I'm already on the flight. Consider me there. Mono again with the ever impressive Fong, but dishing out his own poison. He has to deal against another poison, right? Through the hands <laughs> of XSet's own IDOB. This mm -hmm. is going to be a banger of a match. Winners finals. finals is about to go down. Poison versus Fong. It is XSet, IDOM, Red Rooster, Mono. Oh. Here we go. Three out of five, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it. Do not blink. You do not want to miss this. Here we go. It's going to be a swing fest, depending on who gets. To who's grill first. Yes, but sir. As we're standing right now, as we're sitting right now, I should say, one. one thing to note is here's gonna be phase one. Poison is gonna be spacing out a lot against Mono PR. We're seeing it right now, right? Mm -hmm. And the dash, as soon as that dash happens, Idom immediately goes to the check. Woo! The read on the sleeves. It didn't even matter if it was a cower crouch or sleeves. Mm -hmm. Idom has that idea ready to check Mono. Close to stun already. And look at this activation. The big the great equalizer, I should say. I really like the fact that Idom doesn't back down and use these normal straight and things like that. He knows he's going to do a lot more damage. Big jump in. That's going to be the win. Already, Idom off to a fantastic start. Not only reading the rhythm and rhyme of what Mono wants to do, but also his character wants to do as well. I was going to say, with the rhythm and rhyme, he was definitely saving time because that Ooh. was only 26 seconds. I think that was our fastest KO today. Oh my god, that's a crime. Let's go. Idom. Going in, aggression, EX. That's a good That's a good special move, as he had put it during his CPC win. Oh my god, the sleeves actually connect. Catching Idom a little bit off guard. Now, not phased at all, though. Look at how he shimmies. He doesn't give up too much room when he does with the shimmy. Using that fierce just at that micro distance. He what a punish oh on the heart rate, god. but just not enough. I like the idea of execution. has to be there. The crush. What the feet. Okay, he has to stay there. Rio Venda, the pressure is setting in. Mono PR in hot pursuit. No poison added up though at all. He doesn't apply to There it is. Oh, There's there the sleeves. Is. A big interruption from Idom, but he backs away. Oh no, that's gonna be a super yes, sir. And that will be that. Idom's defensive timings are ridiculous. That counter hit timing was so important mm -hmm. because it actually confused Mono whether or not he should be in pursuit or back away. That stand jab didn't lead to anything. He right. backed off away first to give him that false sense of security and then whip him into shape, leading into that critical arm. Very well done from Idom.
I typically see a lot of people, as I mentioned before, just move back a lot when they go for the shimmy. Item only gives up a little bit of space, and that minute spacing works on top level players. It catches them in that lull, and there you go. I think the first game. Well, trying to mount the comeback, but it's looking difficult. Mm -hmm. oh. The sleeves with the poison setting in. Yeah. Again. I like that. Crouching medium kick to get the anti air. Apply more of that pressure. Again, a lot of the purple stuff. Shout out to Tasty Steve. Activation now. Mono trying to maintain this lead, but now it's all Idom. Here he comes. Kick in the corner. Beast kill is still to chase out the medium kick. The medium punch too far. The distance. And now the anti air. EX. Plus gotta frame. hold this. Check in Mono now. The Molotov is about to set it. No, he ducks for safety. But this one a little bit shorter. He's cooking up. What's going to happen? Idom, he's just holding Ooh. the heart rate. Come ah. to me. Oh, come come to me. Come to me. Come to me, You baby. better work for it. <laughs> Put your back into it. Idom just controls the player so much. It's so critical. Look at that. Medium heart rate right there. Catches him coming in. As soon as he thought it was taken off the space, denies it. There's a melee rock up and down the block with the throw. On every block. Woo. That is for sure. On the streets, in the training mode, he counting blocks for sure. I don't know. He's playing the spacing game really well. The lovely tender. You cannot throw that for free. No B skills here. A lot of recovery. A lot of VR still not making full effect of this trigger. He is in a dire situation. A one bust out, but still the B shift break. Idom maintaining his positioning, doing it again, pulling up the Cyclops. He's saying, "Come to me." Come to me. Crouching mini punch for the anti-air. Idom, looking absolutely dominant. As y'all had said, I domination. X sets very own. This man again. A champion of multiple calibers. Again, he has been proficient with so many characters. We've seen the struggle when he was a mere Laura specialist from back in the day. <laughs> You're right. We have experienced that struggle. Can we play Birdie? Ever Let's since play. he's been getting that character banned, <laughs> he's learned to adapt to a new character. Oh. Right? But oh. Lucas was adapting the situation we with the bison. We have not seen this in a very long time. This is Shades of Season 1 Mono. He's going with the bison pick. To stem the toxicity, that is poison. It's time to bring out the bison. A fantastic character in terms of the matchup. Maybe a little more even this season. Still 5.5 in my right. opinion. But when you put the pressure on him, it's hard to stop. The slide, down for fears, scissor kick, many ways in, and a lot more damage too than Fang can do. But the thing is, Idom has just been so active when it comes to the neutral. How do you find that way inconsistently? Now for Fierce, take the fence. Idom blocking out. Be reversal two. Had to do it. Didn't want to give Mono that free turn. Oh, oh he's my two. lordy. Oh my god. He paid the fence two times over. That's a double coat. What? The activation for Idom off the crouch Fierce. Mono now can play the lane game. Gotta come to me to get that win. In the end, but the, oh, that was almost a whip punish. I'm gonna get the spacing of the scissor kick. Let's get the forward throw, builds up enough bar. One confirm, okay? And then you gotta be play. kidding me. Item! You got the throw bait off the lovely tender point blank. One of the biggest threats of heart raid Round is that you are point blank against poison and are not allowed to press a button. I can't believe this. Set point item, even the switch for mono. He had the lead, but. Look at that, outside the distance for just so many things that Mono would like to do. Scissor kick, slide. Damage to fly, trying to get the shimmy. I am not breaking down. Walking like a pack of Legos. Right there. Right there. Dashing up now. The lovely tender does get blocked successfully. Mono now in hot pursuit, forward throw. We're going to see what the options are for pressure. Psycho X needs to get view reversals and does so successfully. I Dom no longer in threat of that corner. He gets to reclaim his space. Crouching heavy punch, finding the mark multiple times. Damn, anti -air the high fine. heal with the, the anti-air? No. Idom with his own jump in and super situation. And that means Idom will move on. Oh. Mono. No, it's not over yet, my bad. You jinxed it. I jinxed it. Commentator's curse. It's a classic. We're going to see what happens. Activation up the slide. Had to make it safe. This is Trigger 2. He also has V-Skill 2. Put the whip in the punish! Idom! My God! I'm so not good. sure. I'm, I'm not going to say 
I'm not gonna say that I'm, I'm, I'm super shocked at that result. I gotta say, Mono PR, I, I, I was a little curious about that decision, but at the same time, you know, going with that poison, I feel like he should have stuck it out with Fong. It is what it is, though. I do not know what against Chris CCH. And again, you also talked about the matchups that Chris has played with the Giles, right? Who else does he have in the West Coast, right? He has characters, he has players like Luigi, who's been the primary uh, pilot of Guile That's for true. at least the West Coast. Oh, We're gonna see how this plays out. It's the Sakura, Sakura. pick. Wow. It is the Sakura pick. Out of all the characters in his current uh, arsenal, it's not Seth, it's not Luke, it is just tried and true. This is the character he bursted out with onto the scene to make himself known from all the way from like Seattle. I think it was a, it was a, an, a Geico event up in NorCal actually. Mm. And he had flew out there. He had been one of the qualifiers to make it into that Round event. And took it down with this Fine. character. I'm so curious about this pick. It might be kind of difficult to navigate the blooms. You can't play the projectile game with the buzz on the screen, but you can get me with that fierce speed skill, corner carry, and things get scary. With the defensive jab right there, the three piece gets the distance, Kaba. Go back to the zone, he's trying to work his way out, and we'll do so. And I like that from Kaba, right? Spending the meter, back to back EX Sonic Boom, to force Chris CH to get to this trigger activation. What's gonna happen now? The Fireball War has been very much so in Kaba's favor. Chris CH, man, did you see the Eagle Walk? Ooh. That spacing, not giving anything up. Heavy kick, trying to get the bazooka knee. Ball I see is Mr. Man landing, landing the V trigger. Chris would love to have a heavy kick or fierce to the, or the combo end of his skill. Oh my god. Oh, sharp angle right there, the cross up. It's gonna be huge. Yeah, apply that pressure. A micro walk forward to clip a button against combo. That frame trap was sharp. Sharp as those ashy elbows. This what? Is the first one. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? That might be a me thing. Kaba rushing him down with the bazooka knee. They can make a strap with the Tatsu. There's that close range game you love to see from Kaba. Fireballs, normal. Oh my upside God. down kick. He's letting it rip. Upside down kicks for days, man. That was three. One for each day of the weekend today. We had a three day weekend. We're going in. Plus frames after that. Important set. He interrupted that tension. What a flash kick to the side for the timing. The projectile and vulnerability on that bad boy. Oh. Look at that oh. and the anti-air trade in favor, definitely of Kaba. And he routes it back. And back to that, no more of that full screen. He's going up close and personal. Oh. Very important tech there from Chris CCH. Had Kaba gotten that throw. Oh boy, ever important punish here. EX up for gun again. He has no fear in his heart. Awesome, just to get in for the back of the situation. In the corner. Oh! Not today. Not Error. that stand short. A little more butter on that roll. He skills with that fireball. Here's the activation of Chris Oh my to get god, going. he did the drop down and get your eagle on. You saw him creep up just a little bit to get that space. He reversing. Ray Light, edge of the side. I love that punish. Mm -hmm. Beautifully done from Chris T. But either way, Kaba, he is such a hefty life lead. He doesn't give a damn. He really doesn't. One more good oh, flash the kick flash to land kick. from his Corazon. EX. My man I was waiting win. forever and a day. I feel like time stopped as soon as Chris CCH jumped. Because as soon as you saw that happen, the freeze frame was like, hmm? I bet you're wondering how I got here. <laughs> and then time is boom, EX flash kick. You can't just jump on this man while he's crouching. You really Look can. at him, he's doing it again. Woo! That's the situation right there. He's I'll doing aggressive. He's doing the bird walk. <laughs> Oh! Sweep activation. This has been the biggest point of the, uh, the comeback, right? The feature of the fireball, eats the fireball as a combo, but he's so good about being ready and steady to clip through. Oh my god, on the other side. Does not get the conversion. He actually had the standing heavy or a medium punch. See the difficulty of dealing with a character like Guile, projectile, or a zoner, I should say. Chris C. C. just landed the crush, the Tatsu. Activation now, plus frames. He had to use that V reversal. He wanted to alleviate the pressure. Chris CCH still finds that opening. Man, the down forward round off BD. What happened? Wait a minute. What happened? Good. Ah, uh, you know, I think there was a slight mishap there on Kaba because that wasn't the. I don't think that was uh, a full connection. I think there was a little bit of a gap where Kaba had let go because there was a counter hit afterwards. Chris CCH did the full. I don't know. It was so weird. I blinked and I'm like, wait, did he just drop the combo slightly? Very reset. 
Oh, oh my no. lord. That's definitely a whip right there. The DP, but Kyle, gonna catch I hate to see it, man. The Sakura fans are crying every time that happens. All five of them. <laughs> that's, that sounds like too much, to be honest. I'm one of them. <laughs> Like the Fireball EX yeah, no, the Fireball War is just too fun. Kaba has just played this game so steadily. But now Chris, see, years. Chris is using the walk speed to get through the Fireball switch instead of staying stationary, which has been a big game point. He's so bleeding. Kaba leading, but for how long? Waiting for that critical art expenditure Ooh. or an EX. At the same time, Kaba, again, he's just totally satisfied with either sitting there. Man, that is beautifully done from Kaba. It's unfortunate Chris wasn't Fire watching for the bar at the bottom. Super D bar built up, you know what actually is gonna come through. Say that goes off to EX gets a knockdown. The Eagle Walk again. Mm. Just having that threat. He's slowly closing the gap. Again, the counter in on the bazooka knee. Full conversion. Upside down kick. kick. Two four to get the conversion. Good awareness of Chris CCH to dash underneath and now apply this part of pressure. Look at this down back though. Kaba's waiting his turn. I the told you it was kick. coming! What did, you gonna call me a liar? He was gonna do it! Well, he is deeply right through. Chris CCH trying to keep him in the corner as much as possible. Any means necessary. Right buffer DP. No back throw. Oh boy, you know he's trying to get that activation. That sweep was a big signifier. He does get it. Here come the boom. The baby boomers. Marching through. Yes. Chris CCH still has the lead. Flash kick again into air. Kaba. This is hard for Chris CCH. In the train of favor of Kaba as Chris CCH reels back. He felt that. Outside of the damn game, too. Well placed Bazooka Knee, it could have gone either way. It just so happened that Guile had a little bit of extra life left against Chris. A slight mishap, a little bit of a bump in the road, but right now it's looking all Kaba. It is tied one to one, but again, this momentum has been slowly shifting in Kaba's favor. And we have seen Chris come back. We have seen not only in these tournaments, or this tournament, I should say, Man, but other tournaments. Man, he even got the triceps, he's got the horseshoe. Oh, oh, you know hello. what I'm saying? He got Yo, the chill. horseshoe. Yo, Yo. chill. Relax, Poppy. Damn. Oh, so you will see these guns. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's gonna have to get him a new shirt. <laughs> Just rip it off the page. And it looks like Chris is ride or die with a soccer pick. But it's still looking difficult. The Zoing's presenting a big problem. And so he's V-Trigger. He's gotta make the most of it. But then again, Kaba is being able to deal with the walk-through situations. Yeah. It's Looking it's so funny. Right. I see the crowd. I think Hermes is trying to get a fit and flex compilation. My man has been filming the entire time. <laughs> get that zoom in. Here we go. Into uh, game number three. I had misspoken earlier. I did say one to one, but it is in fact Kaba two to zero. My mistake. Again, Kaba with a very, very significant lead here in the game against Chris. Thankfully, there's one good part about this character and this matchup. If you put him in the corner, it's really difficult to deal with this character. He's from some of the best corner pressure in the business. Dumping out the damage and the oh jab. Chris. What is the significant difference here? How is it that Chris CCH managed to bust out the gate and get the significant round? Drink the cost, that's fine. Took another sip. All right, I was asking for the game, but thanks, Cole. I'll tell you what right now. Kaba now firing off with the boom. A big interruption after the standing light kick. I think Chris CCH is just a little more aware of the corner situation than the corner situation. And going the defensive option to Kaba, but now Kaba denying that point even happens with the flash kicks and the anti airs. Oh, mm. first counter. It's gonna be huge now. Find the pressure forward throw. Chris CCH just needs at least two mixes away to get the stun. Kaba actually not even gonna give a damn about that. Throwing booms from a significant, significantly close range. He's trying to get into it. It's part of the I like that. Kaba not committing to a flash kick. It's still Chris. Love to have a heavy kick B skill. Wakes up with violence. Does get the V reversal off. And look at this, yeah, biding his time. Chris CCH needs to find this opening, but still, Kaba is relentless. The booms are there, not even giving Chris CCH a chance to play. He used that hero so mad early. Once again, projector pose a big threat. You have to go the old school. Walk, walk, or jump. Oh, oh. you felt it in the gut. <laughs> My man gave him the stand fierce, the walk back, throw bait, sign sealed, delivered, looking at Mad's point to eliminate Chris CCH. However, Chris has been in this situation prior. We'll see if he can pull out a miracle again. A down kick once again. Kaba, we saw Chris doing with that, backing up, finding whip punch. I'm surprised that he's not looking for Ooh, the whip the on that. Oh, the whip Kaba oh. is actually ridiculous. He's awake and aware. The no-dos, the dash up, dragon suplex. And 
Chris now looking for an activation. Kama stayed away. The flash no! can play. From the sports zone. Interrupts the up. Trophy. Oh no. DP side switch. And this is where Chris CCA shines. Stun. Make him see stars like Hollywood Boulevard. Ooh. No, he stopped the V-Ship, dead the tracks. Is this gonna be enough damage? Yes, it is! Sir. Chris CCH coming back from the dead yet again! He's still Sorry. alive. Wait. And you know how he's able to thrive? It's because he puts him in the corner, watches for the defensive tendencies, and blows him up and gets that big girl damage that she's got. That's where she's able to work. mid is difficult. The, the fireballs, right. it's hard for her to fight back. Oh my god. He's betting on it. He was trying to make that bet. Does get the big crush counter. And look at the amount of corner carry with the addition of that V skill, too. It's such a great supplement to Sakura's kit. I wonder if at this point, Kaba just throws out a lot more heat. The EX flash kicks. When he's in the corner, the both of the defense lobs, he really wants to the V ship, but he's out of there. And I love that. Yeah, Chris CCH not able to open up Kaba with that frame drop earlier. Kaba is still swinging. He's a lot closer than we expected. We thought we would see some boobs, but no, sir. He is in striking distance, crouching heavy punch. Stop that jump. You're not escaping this corner. He actually threw that big fireball. Kaba blocking out one play. Patient. Nice oh, defensive boy. timing right there. He's aware of the flash kick. V trigger for the lockdown. We got a couple more booms to play with, right? We still have another mix-up to be weary of. Chris CCH is yeah. gonna get smoked. That Sonic boom to keep him in check. Kaba really, really on the money when it comes to his EX expenditures, man. Mm -hmm. No credit card needed. He drops the cash. Okay, anti -air. right there from Chris It's hard to anti with this character. You have to use Crouch Fierce or EX to make sure that the angles can't be too sharp. Light the EX gets the knockdown. Kaba, once again, oh, that's talked about. Oh, that's a huge counter hit. Now, this is going to be where Kaba thrives. He puts Chris C. in oh, this the corner flash again. Kick. It's going to be close to That's going to that gonna be it. That's going to be it. Chris C. is eliminated. Kaba uh. has done the deed. He has avenged his brother, Man RV. Oh, show him gun. Indeed, a double jeopardy situation. These are some of my favorite matches to watch. The runbacks within the bracket, and then also two people who have played each other year after year, Kava versus Mono. Losers finals, Thong versus Go. We saw this. Yes, we did. We, we sure did. saw this. Are very, we gonna see a different story this time? It was a very significant win for Mono, right? There was a lot of a lot of things he did against Kava that felt like there was a slight unfamiliarity, but at the same time, I think it was just Mono's cleverness that took uh, over the matchup. But we'll see right now, Kaba again establishing that lead. And more so with the positioning than the damage. Jumps away, yeah. Oh, I love that. I love that check on the down forward fierce. Kaba just throwing that jab out. He's like, you know, get out of here. Don't even try that. There's a nope. EX. There's something underneath. You need to leak some of that meat or that EX bar. That's been a big Giant. deal. Ooh, oh, no. no. Slight mishap. Yeah, he did have the jump in, but still. Uh, the, dragon the, dash, the dash up throw from Kaba once again. He had it. He called the fireball off correctly. Kaba now looking for that neutral jump. Still, Mono not susceptible to it just yet. However, it's a little bit too early to fix that strategy. Here we go. Cross up now. Got the big Ooh. hit and a bigger kill. Kaba establishing. Game or sorry, round number one of game one. I like the fact that Kaba showing something different with it. Has a different way to deal with the fireballs. Just a walk up from Kaba. Either walk up throw or walk up crouch light. And I'm liking that. So wants to kind of relive that space. He wants to make sure that the neutral does not go in Mono's favor. He's still pretty active. But now look at this purple adding up. There's the sleeves. Be reverse to get some distance and stay off that purple stuff. Be skilled to lock down the neutral a bit. It ain't even great. It's just purple flavor, mm. man. It's sugar, water, and purple. It's just purple. What's that with the boom? Backs away from the Zika. I'm dying. Cobb, okay. even with all that uh, purple stuff on him, he's still active with it. Okay, that's an excellent time to V-Shift break. Again, it just does so much for Kaba, right? It resets him into this position where he can dominate with the fireball. It gets rid of the poison, but overall he gets just that tempo mid-screen. That neutral, neutral jump, jump gets stuck. Again, V-Shift break, which is ever so important. Kaba now gets to force Mono into this corner. This is a do or die situation for Mono. What oh. a time to get out. That was so, so well placed with, with that knees. fireball. Universal nice neutral jump in Kaba. He's to finish it one more touch. The defensive no. jab from Mono. 
Look at the one by the jump in. What a god. How many times have we seen that over and over? The double roundhouse to check his opponent. Kaba this time staving off that strategy. He's already learned from his mistakes. Does get that jump back roundhouse to seal the deal in game number one. I don't typically see people when they have the run back like that, especially when they've been brought down from winners to losers, to have a game plan already solidified and doing something different. Mono's gonna change this look real quick. There's a throw, gets a distance with it. But Kaba feels like he's not afraid of the purple stuff. And part of that's because he's been putting on a lot of plasma on the screen, fireballs consistently, and walking in that distance to use those normals. And the poke with the cross communicate. He pointed that button out last, yesterday. And again, a lot more activity coming from Kaba. The booms are being so prevalent. But now Mono actually taking his turn back a little bit. Overzealous on the steps. Kaba did get inter did get that interruption. And now the momentum swing. Is it gonna be enough for Kaba? No, jumps into it. The big juggler! Exactly what Mono wanted. Again! Another throw. One more touch. Gets the into the 3D. Conversion, yo. Crouching light kick into the crouching medium punch. Good awareness from Mono and even better confirms. I gotta say, this man, well versed with Vaughn. Good awareness right there from Kaba to get the sweep after the boom. But here we go. The area, the flappy bird and the throw. EX. Oh, he'll take for Mono. Yeah, he keeps him in the corner, but the sweep. You've got to watch out for the trigger. He's the E trigger too. That's a very nice V shift. Not only does it alleviate any pressure, but oh, you know what? I take it all back. Kaba is still going to be swinging. And again, it is trigger too. Mm -hmm. We're going to see Ooh. those extra flash kicks. Rainbow edition. And that's enough to do with Kaba. You know what the dangerous part about that V trigger is? Not only is the airspace protected, but also the ground space. You can be looking for a crouching right. conversion, but also so it's really, really offensive with True. the Kaba switching up the game plan again. And that's relatively new, right? Being able to cancel off that normal. In that trigger, crouching heavy punch is the anti-air choice. The mm. V-shift to punish that roundhouse, the R is popping off. In them guts. Heavy kick. It's a walk back like that. Mono needs to put on the pressure in this corner. Oh, he wasn't, there ready. You go. he wasn't ready for the side switch. Mono PR. Again, he smells blood. There is a little bit of purple on the side of Kaba. It's going to be wearing off. Nope, I, I, I lied. Jump, Jump back. back, medium kick. What a defensive Whoa. option. Mono PR with the instant overhead. Just one tap away. I think it's going to be at least of a heavy button to Four take fingers. it down. Man, that's got to be like medium or higher, right? Mm. Oh, for sure, Whoa. medium or higher. Do not get slapped. Don't do it. Won't touch it like that. The defensive jab, Khan coming in with the dash situation. The needy flash kick, rainbow edition, EX. It's He's not more quite over yet. He has to back away. He's got to sleeve to check against Kaba. Mono PR dashing through the boom. He's got an EX. You got to be super careful trying to dash in. Except underneath the He's EX. He's got the floaty suit. Oh, no, the flex from Kaba. The You're actually ridiculous. The you are actually ridiculous. On the overhead. Who would have saw it coming? There are so many options there to guess from, and Kaba guessed correctly. The proper read against Mono, and boy, that dude is sweating. Mono VR is actually feeling the pressure, and look at this. Kaba is going in for the kill. The crush counter is there. Mono VR reclaiming his space here in this set. Although he's at a deficit, he was swinging for his life. It is a brand new set. It could all change in one game. Absolutely. Anti right there with the EX. Using that shimmy. It's a semi shimmy because he's about to pay off for this. Never mind. He's broke. Flash kick is fine from Kaba to get some distance. And then oh. feature two. He's going to be active from Kaba to just establish some anti ground space and air space. We saw before. Oh, the forward throw now. Kaba still has that trigger. Ooh, but he's going to flash kick first. There's the activation. Crush counter. Knock him back to the Ooh. corner. And he got the confirm on the low medium kick. He's ridiculous. This and man is dangerous. That, that boy is so dangerous. Okay, Kaba on set point. And it's just a rotation of consistent amount of options. Mono cannot keep track of it. The EX boom, as you point, the EX bar spent from Kaba. Oh my god, the point. whiff punish. It's on point. The four appears. I like to see that more. This can't flash it like you used to right. be able to. Right. So I'd like for uh, Mono to establish that space. Mono PR, yeah, he gets the shift. No, actually, it clipped him towards the second half. Air to air. Again, watch that throw. The stun is there. Mono PR survives at least another round. Can he do enough to kill? He sure does. Thank you to the poison brought to you by Purple Stuff. <laughs> That's the label, Purple Stuff. Give me some of that. Stay off that point for a little bit longer, but again, Kaba, he showed so many different looks. EX connects, gets the knockdown. 
to put him in the corner and get as much help off as possible. Early in the round, to go back to the lane play today. Put the poison on him as much as possible and then force him to come to him to get the win. And I like that. Yeah, you see the reset on the fireball timing from Kava. He threw a boom and it immediately went to the neutral jump to avoid the fireball. Damn, that's active. Damn, that's a lot of damage. Damn, Kava has him in the corner. Trying to find that one hit to do with the super. What a reaction. Kava moves on the grand finals. Taking down Model PR with the super. A grand finals for Street Fighter V. Yo, Midwest, where are you at? No, no, everybody, where are you at? The last match, Item versus Kaba. Y'all better see me in the streets. Let's get it. Idom versus Kaba again. This is going to be one. one for the books here for Combo Breaker. One. Both these young individuals, this is exactly what I was looking for, right? That boom, and we saw the threat of the heart raid. We did see the lucky tender go past the boom the first time. What's gonna happen here in this mid-range combat? Idom, he's not gonna set the pace further out just yet. There's oh, the heart straight. raid. You see the mm -hmm. damage dealing. You see the significant difference between both both attacks. Idom again gonna have the advantage if he continues to trade off of these booms with the heart rate. Oh, Kaba's gonna have to go and get the win, and that's the Again, the wall of this normals. is gonna be this is what sets the tone, right? Idom is gonna be playing. Damn, that was actually wow. a mad part. He's gonna be setting the pace primarily with this heart rate. Kaba needs to find a way to get within mid-range. He cannot afford these trades. EX to make a guess, the fade away and play. And Kaba with the sorry, Idom with the first thing with Kaba. You're absolutely right in terms of boom trades. And also, I feel like it's kind of deleting his normal game. Like, he wants to get in to get the win. He's already stopping him with the whips. Already hitting him. He tries to back up for the zoning, and it's denied the damage applied from the whips. You see it right now. Like, as soon as Idom gets within a certain range, maybe a little bit past medium kick, at least at the range of a fierce from Guile, he's going to switch to his own whip with standing heavy punch primarily. But if Kaba, okay, if he had maintained his charge and gotten the knockdown, mm -hmm. he would have been able to take full advantage of Idom in the corner. Mm -hmm. But here it comes. Kaba, a little bit too reliant on these booms, getting a little predictable. Watch out for that stun. Idom threatening with the heart rate again. He's canceling, waiting for the booms. He's looking for a pattern. He might get this trade, but no, too a little too out. far out. For the lovely tender, here comes Kaba on the assault now. He's got the bar at the bottom. Let me spend the win just to get some sort of win situation. Anything at all to stem down the momentum that Idom has. The trade, the dash up though for Kaba. He's trying to find a way to finish his EX. Will connect with something up to kill. Idom could smash on a lovely tender real quick with it. Careful, Kaba with those moves with the air air right it. there. He's I so love smart. It. That was a near instant jump. Medium kick. Mm -hmm. The range on it and the speed was enough to stop Idom. I'd imagine Idom tried to jump in with a fierce. It's so far down to reach and punish Kaba possibly, or at least get himself started. Either way, all tied up here in the rounds. Looking at the meter, it's near identical. It looks pretty even to me, but right now, Kaba is slowly getting that lead. Idom is about to lose all of this, all the momentum, I feel like. Kaba has just been putting on with his normals, mid-range to close range. You know, part of that comes from this combo. Change up his spacing, not giving up too much time with the booms, getting that mid-range game and just threatening with the normals, with the booms, the buffet of booms right now. Idom's eating too many. They're going to die. You better double up, Ooh. actually. Don't even let go of the booms, because this is what happens once you let go of the gas pedal. Idom now establishing this dominance, mm -hmm. and look at the range that she gets to play on after the critical art. Accelerated. He's got the lead, but Kaba still has a lot of bar to work with. A lot of butter to cook with. What's on the menu? The V reversal. Not I today. don't deny it. Let's go to the restaurant, but the super. This won't sell. This won't kill, but it will. Put them about even. She's gonna break. Idom's favorite mechanic. Oh! Right from his face. Oh. The crouch fierce. What a time to throw out that crouching fierce. That is definitely gonna be punishable from that wins. range had it been blocked, but still. I couldn't even rep, man. It was so tense that I, I had to look at the situation again. I got to take that replay again because I, I don't know if there was anything to back up that crouching heavy punch. Something going in. It was a right option. Idom with the lead. I like Kaba. that. Yeah, back up a bit. Ooh. Now the flash kick the anti air. You see Idom getting a little bit more impatient because of the fact that Kaba has not relied on the booms as much since the last game. Absolutely. Flash kick again. Kaba, anti air. A two, I really three. like the fact that he is going for the normal test and pointed out. That's making it difficult for Idom to deal with it. No trades if nothing happens on the screen. But you mean to kick target combo? 
Oh, Ooh. that was it. Did you see that? The jumping fierce. It extends so far out and stuffs out the crouching heavy punch anti air attack. Ooh. That could have been it. The, oh, the sweep. sweep. The Hail Mary sweep. You gotta be kidding me. That was still gonna be trigger activation no matter right, right, what. Right. I still can't believe it. Idom ran into the sweep. Didn't even need to fear the V trigger. Kaba actually gets to breathe easy in game two for that one. Keep up that pressure, that momentum. Do something different. Sweep again. Oh, flash you cannot kick. jump. I don't think real impatient. Kaba making a play to his rhythm. Interruption on the lovely tender. Preemptive with it. Activation from Adam. He brought it back. The V reversal. Still a fantastic distance for Kaba to play at. Not too far out. Oh, he's cooking close. up. He's actually totally satisfied with that. Not too much damage taken because of the burn. Not bad at all. Still has that light lead. That's going to be the a punish. punish. We talked about the heavy punch from oh. that range. We talked about the heavy punch from that range. If there's nothing behind it, you're going to eat a ton of damage. Kaba. He is on the mark with this guy. Round this one. is the, the play I love to see from guy players. It's not just about the zone, it's not about, uh, but just about the normals. It's about combining them together in a frustrating pattern to make people like, even people like Ida break down. Ever so important right now. Again, all tied up one to one. Kaba still needs to make this reset happen in order to see that victory lap. But either way, Idom right now still a, a big heart rate again. Yeah, Kaba has resorted to the Sonic Boom pressure. That was such a good wow. read. He gets himself out of the corner, not a big punish. It's totally fine. However, Idom in Hot Pursuit still an excellent time to get out of the plus frame situation. That V reversal ever so pivotal. Kaba now resorting back to the Sonic Boom game. Just barely missing the mark against Idom. EX to double check him. Flash the last kick. kick. Get out of my face. Now he's going to worry about throwing out the boost. So now Kaba goes in a little bit more. He looks closer, make it hard to react to the gigs. Love tender. And Idom trying to get these trades, but still Kaba, I seem like he's very comfortable right now. Well, they have a crush, easy activation from Idom off the crouch. He's far out to follow up. False to the Molotov. And look at that, burning up just a little bit. I don't think there's going to be enough damage. If he doesn't EX Lovely Tender, it might kill. But at the same time, Kaba is even going to give him that situation. The throw bait, nothing to do with it. Kaba was standing his ground. No throw bait for here. Mm. You know what's also new? We've seen Idom do these micro shimmies throughout the entire tournament. Kaba's denying that with standing light, then the back fist. Just to check that walk back. Just to make sure that Idom doesn't feel too comfortable. And right now, I think Idom's breaking down the wall. Look at that. The boom oh, pressure hard to punish. lead. It's so difficult, too, because he has to stand block that. It doesn't give him enough to punish with afterwards. The flash, flash kick for sure. Kaba 100% ready with that, at least. The Viewer Verso, it does get thrown. You yeah. saw the startup of it. Idom now, he does have this corner pressure. Do not let your normals whip, though. Kaba, he does have Critical Art on deck. That back throw didn't work, though. Kaba backing up a bit. Too sharp of an angle for the flash kick. Mm -hmm. He knew. This will jump. That's going to be a punch in the Super Kaba. Getting closer and closer to resetting the bracket and dragging Idom on the loser side with him. Dial win. I love this play from Kaba today. And the fact that he is back one. to being comfortable, the fact that he's back to the booms and the close range thing, it's a full, complete package. We talked about that with Mono. He has but to, I think, right? I think Kaba's that way too. That's the thing. I, there, there's so many sequences that he has to go through in order to even break down the defensive item. He's mm -hmm. been so active and pretty much hard to read at this point. But Kaba, again, utilizing his own offense against Idom, which is pretty funny because <laughs> he'll, he'll shut down the boot game whenever he feels like it. It's been so ambiguous as to what approach he wants against Idom forcing wow. these errors. We rarely see these kind of errors from Idom. There's a lot more, a, a lot of reads coming in from Idom, more so than reactions. Right. And that is the sign of not being comfortable with EX. He'll definitely take that throw. Not much more. He reverse, he'll get some distance, and that builds up the gray left to make moves for a lot harder. Look at that. Triple of damage. Kaba again, comfortable. Try to sweep over the trick card. Didn't work in Idom. Gonna take him to the corner. The B skill. Run up the kill. I'm not sure what he was doing there. Oh, the stare down. Idom just needs at least one touch. Medium. Oh, actually, a light would do it. And so oh. does Kaba. He actually gets it off the crowd's jab. Crowd's jab followed by the boom. Even, even at that range, he's still able to continue the combo. So just in case if Idom wasn't dead, he had to sweep the follow up. Yet, as soon as he saw the back turn, had something for him. Kaba looking to reset the bracket right now. Upside down kick, getting aggressive with it. The air to air right there, we saw that before. Oh, crouching heavy punch, even from that range, still finds the mark. Very, 
Very fortunate for Idom, but now Kaba gets to establish this pace, right? He does get the Sonic Boom game. He does check with the forward fears. Idom is totally settled here on playing out of the corner. There's the counter hit conversion now. Gets the high kill. Side switch off the Molotov as well. Look at him cook up. Do you like original recipe? The or flash extra kick. crispy. That flash kick straight out of the oven. And now Kaba is still in this corner. He's cooking up now. One touch. The tech is so important. No punish on the sweep. Nothing. It's so close. The heart rate again. That trade-off is what sets the boys from the men. Mm. Idom definitely ready with that Sonic Boom again with the trade-off. Consistency. And able to get the win. Idom, I like to be a little bit more aggressive, walking up. He's a lot more buttons. I feel like before he was backing off too much in these early parts of the round. Let me careful get predicted. Waste the bar, and that just allows Gabba to get more more comfortably. Let him fly for free. The challenge all the dead. But what just an interruption. the shimmy. Did you see how he pickpocketed Idom from that fierce? He threw in that, that cross what? medium punch. It's in your wallet. Perfect, that's a perfect time, too. Interruption DX. Yeah. Oh, so has him in the corner. That was a flash kick attempt. Kaba actually missed it. Kaba. He's got to be able to set that oh, bracket boy. to win. Idom get all this momentum. Can't take two more trades. That and is the trade, the though. The we trade. talked about it. We literally talked about how this matchup was going to go. If you throw out a boom in the space where he wants the heart raid, best believe Idom is going to react to it. It sets him into a tie score, two to two. Are we going to see a reset? Is this the end of the journey of Kaba? It's going so back and forth. And part of this, I think, is Round because one. Idom is getting a lot more active, a lot more aggressive, right. a lot more buttons. He's not flying upon one of the with the heart rate, with the things like that in the crowd here. He's actually going in to get the win. And it's messing with Kaba's timing a bit. I like him not being stationary. And I think it's a very valid point, right? You are messing with the timing of Kaba just a little bit, right? A little bit less reactions, mm. a little, or sorry, a little bit less instinct, a little bit more reactions, right? Bro, DX, gotta hold this. There's a lot of defense and Kaba just to block it out. Look at the gray line. That was extra damage on top. The anti-air is there, close to stun. Are we even gonna get there? Here comes Kaba. He's gonna make violent comebacks all throughout this bracket. Gets the hit off the boom. What awareness in the flash kick. Closer, closer to the stun. Trying to get it done. The oh baby boom, the timing! He caught a flinch in uh, uh, the two of the uh, arms oh, in the wait. super. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, he no. dropped it. He oh, dropped no. it. He did not. This is he did not. I don't know what that was, but the confused look from Idom, he said, huh. Huh. I actually was supposed to punish that. <laughs> what had happened? We saw the crouching heavy punch. There was supposed to be something followed through with it, either a sonic boom or even just, you could actually just connect it off with the crouching strong by right. itself. You could cancel it straight up. It just so happened that there was a mix in between. Kaba just might have missed an input. But either way, he still got very fortunate that he got that ending. Right, the momentum. I'm still not shaking though. That was, the the beat, though. that was a very expensive date, that was for sure. <laughs> Didn't lead to much. He led so much for Kaba. For Idom, not so much. Might be a reset bracket. With the activation, though, Idom trying to cook him up a bit. He's in the heat of the flames, but this is fine for Kaba. He plays with his heart, plays with the heat of the DR. That was a big whip punish. Critical art incoming. More oh. than necessary, to be honest with you. If you have the cash, you better spend it. Ugh. My I God. like that. Idom again. Looking at tournament it point. point. Final round. This could also be reset. Can Kaba come back to the brink? We've seen it happen in many tournaments. If he can just get a hold of the rhythm of Idom, can he break down the wall? That is his Capcom Cup champion. And I like that. Yes, sir. Firing away with that EX. That was going to be the great divider between the momentum shift. Again, having that EX was so important. Idom was not able to set the pace. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Fighting close quarters. Checking, look at the stare down. He's waiting, stare and that's totally fine. You know, a little bit of chip damage, allowing Idom also to back up. Kaba does get the EX. Big counter and conversion. Three He's keys. in pursuit. He smells blood in the water. But Idom has a damn near full stick of butter. And he's got the Molotov to burn up just a little bit. I like that. Do reversal against the heart rate. So space up in this place. EX, Kaba going to hit it over him to reset the bracket for that win. Kaba! Looking at his crew, feeling their energy, riding that momentum. Shades. You know what that was? Shades of Minardi. You know what that was? Talk to me. When Talk he, he to did me. that overhead, he looked up to his brother and he's like, I knew that was going to work. <laughs> that was the <laughs> utmost confidence. You know how many times you pull that off in a match? You get the instant overhead, mm -hmm. but it's online. You can't pop off in the person and be like, yeah, I got you I'm slipping. Nice. I got you slipping. <laughs> it's a whole different feeling.
that feeling of the gratitude and oh that positivity. He's like, yo, man, I told you that was going to work. Mm -hmm. I told you. Kava coming back like that. And as you have continuously pointed out, it's the EX bar. It's the EX bar to disrupt the rhythm of what Poison, no, Idom wants to do. No, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. Yeah. Being able to land that knockdown with EX Sonic Boom mm -hmm. changes the matchup completely, right? You get you get to bypass phase one for free, which is getting spaced out by heart rate. Right. I do like the fact that Kaba is getting these big leads and being able to keep them. I feel like that's how this matchup is definitely going. Whoever gets the lead gets the position, gets oh, to win the bag, so fist, checked by Rick and Icy Baby. So with the much frog. activity. Oh, back by the way, him. firing right back with a crush counter of his own. Idom now. What's going to be the pressure here? Kaba not flinching one bit. A punish on that? That was actually mad far. Sweep. The anti right there. And I'm trying to keep him in the corner as much as possible. Gets the counter hit, but not much damage. But backing off of this, he doesn't not get back thrown. This is fine for Adam. Get some space. Hey, okay. That was great. Okay. The lovely tender still gets blocked, but Kaba wasn't ready for a punish. I think maybe a light kick could have done something, but at the same time, Adam letting it look. But this is for the Fierce and the Boom. Too far out to punish. I'm trying to keep as much space as possible. Keep it tight. Oh! This is going to be a huge, a huge deal for Idom. He's definitely going to take that. Mm -hmm. Without a doubt, Kaba with a slight miscalculation on the flash kick. We got that with the stones, but either way, Idom with a fantastic round start. And these pimp and crouch pieces are deleting that ESP and problematic Oof. for Idom. Or if there was a B still. Watch out for that stun. Don't get thrown. Nice tech. Very important. Kaba knew it. Idom knew it. The people in Combo Breaker knew it. We all knew it. Woo! So it's far for Kaba to do anything. And Idom has established this fantastic reinforcement screen rage before he dashes in. EX flash kick, get out of the plus frame scenario. Idom no longer to take his turn yet again. Oh. The crush counter in the second half of the sweep. He's got two Boy. of them. He's got two of them. My mom's gonna get up too. Kaba has enough screen space to walk away from the flames of play, but it's still a good two touch situation. That was actually a, a, a huge trade in the benefit of Kaba. Mm -hmm. The counter hit is there. But it's still so hard to convert off of that cross. We didn't what get that far. Old school. We talked about it. We talked about the EX Sonic Boom being able to bypass whatever Idom presents in neutral. And we haven't seen that like with throw old school kind of thing to make people kind of flinch, hit him on the arm twice. There's the throw though. Idom with a better round start. Can he hold that? Oh, Thomas is fighting back quite a bit. Anti with the medium. The throw, that distance she's got with her throw is so deadly. A little bit of a creep up there. The dash up from Kaba trying to sneak in. Again, we talked about how important the EX meter is. Love me tender. Find some mark now. Activation on block for the what challenge with the item. The dash you may not pass, and that is EX whip to do it. As Item would say, that's a damn good special. I gotta say, man, that was nice and easy too with the counter hit. He established the pace with that. He was doing standing medium punch. He could get into something else, but at the same time, he was like, nice and easy. He mm -hmm. gets that hit, just does it again. EX heart rate establishes himself the first game here in the reset against Kaba. I really like that Idom is trying to play around these space uh, areas where the crouch fears will preemptively interrupt that EX that we've been seeing consistently. Even if it's not an EX, there's still a lot of damage, and Idom feeling comfortably closer to someone like Kaba, who is a really aggressive guy. It's no small feat. And now you're thinking to yourself, too, when you talk about the EX game that Guile has, right? If you were to keep your meter for defensive options Round one. instead of the EX Sonic Boom, I feel like that's going to be fine for someone like Idom, right? Sure, you get hit with EX Flash Kick, but now you're mm -hmm. back in a position where Poison gets to play the neutral way stronger than Guile. Absolutely. Making the oh. waste meter. It's a big win. Fantastic situation for Idom with that corner carry off the skill. EX! You got to be kidding me. That's dirty. Chrissy in the cranium right there. I don't trying to keep in the corner. Too sharp. He actually tried to interrupt with a stand jab on the other side. But Kaba still now. No flash kick, but it's just fine. He still gets to maintain this corner pressure. Idom is stuck so far. The reversal, creating a little bit of space. That heart rate to double check Kaba. Look at all the gray life from both ends, right? Kaba actually, he gets hit. Another set of reversal. That's going to be it. Yes, sir. Idom. Utilizing that V reversal in a very active Round manner two. to force Cobb off from that pressure in the corner, led him to that victory. Just enough damage to get a throw and the dose. We talked about the defensive options from Adam in the corner. He's so good about that. Staying solid. EX now for off and V reversal forced out by Cobb. 
EX. He's not going to go in. Actually, establish some space for that that's, beast go. That's totally it's fine. Okay. He's got two bars left. He can still throw out another EX boom and knock down item if need be. Those trees with the heart rate isn't as great mm -hmm. when it's involved with an EX Sonic boom. So we'll see how he utilizes that, right? There it is. Nice There's the punish. punish. See him creeping up ever so often, no longer taking big gaps in, in uh, dashes like that, but just making sure that he's in that space to make oh. sure that he's punished for the jump in situation. I am going to jump in on Kaba, even though he's been denied. Now, Kaba is the one in the corner. The Millie Rock throw once again up and down the block. I know. One good trade. There's another, to be honest with you. Idom again, too far out for that heart raid. Kaba again, trying to take it to the skies. But just look at the massive range that she possesses, not only on the ground, but airborne as well. Idom setting in nice and pretty with a 2 0 lead here in the reset against Kaba. Found an answer. Found an answer. That honestly is to take a page from uh, Kaba's book to get more aggressive, to change up his space. Make it harder for Kaba to use that bar, to use that game plan, and now that game point situation, game tournament point situation looking good. That is giant. Until. That is massive. Kaba again, all from one jump in. The momentum just rolling on his side. I like the side switch the was an attempt. There was an attempt for a Fisco, a little cheeky Ooh, the at that. Kaba with the damage. And this the round opener here for game number three. You know what I see? I see Kaba jumping a lot more. I like that he's putting that back on the table. Rotate those options on the ground, around the areas how he won previously before the reset. He's confident. And I think that's not too bad. I think it's a very valid option considering the fact that what else can Poison do to anti-air you if she's not ready? Mm -hmm. Having a heart raid on reaction, very difficult. Crouching right. medium punch, you might take that. Yeah. However, it's going to be a very scary situation once Idom is that close to you. Because look what happens, right? He's willing to slug it out up close if need be. But also, look at this. This is exactly what I'm talking about. The big, important tech combo now going for the trigger. The viewer for so, ever so important. The Still so overzealous. He tried to go in with the love pretender, which is way too far out. That's a jab. The activation. EX walks back like that. Now Idom is on set point to win Cobb. Absolutely right. tournament point right Combo now. Combo breaker. Victory in his sights to claim the throne of no coastal kings. It's getting closer and closer, ladies and gentlemen. The whip punish is there. He spent that bar only to get punished. Really unfortunate, but now even better for Kava. Utilizing that EX, pushing Ida further into the corner. But look how close he is. Look how comfortable he is at playing into strays. Can he outgun the man in charge right now? Idom letting the burn set in. Kava utilizing that V-shift. He needs to get away. Idom has just been on his tracks. He has the sit. He's what been dragging block. him down. Comes him. Put him in the corner. How is he going to find the finish? EX comes through. The tech. The jump. Trying to catch a butt before it can come through. And again, Kava. Force to waste this EX. Oh my he God. doesn't want to have to do that. Look the at the move pressure. too. Not no, even a single heart rate. He's not even, he's not even trying to risk it. Okay, this is huge for Kaba. He gets the upside down kick. He actually gets Idom to flinch. He is alive, ladies and gentlemen. He's alive. It's not gonna be he's alive. a sweep. He's, he's hanging alive. in there with one of the biggest risks you could take. My man went all in on the upside down kick. The house doesn't always win. In the end, Kaba sticking with it. And it's not just about the EX bar being used in the D bar being spent. I don't imagine going for that, but, uh, but Kaba, even his normals are fantastic. The trade, not too bad with that play. The crunch can catch the walk back. And Kaba with the lead. This is what you want. You want to have a lead in this matchup as much as possible for Idom to come to you. He's going to burn just a little bit. There was a little bit of a block there because he had to sit in that fire. That Molotov just clipped him just at the very last second, too. Okay. The back throw, this is ever so important. Idom. He needs to take advantage of this situation. He's not going to back down. He's going to be mid-range. But if his block string ends, I like that. Mm -hmm. Backing away and forcing a jump error against Kaba. Give him some distance. And Kaba sitting free, even though he explores at the bottom. He's comfortable here. Look at all his critical R2. One bit confirmed or three heart rates in a row. That's in a row. Who knows? Like, it's going to be pretty close. It's bar back for Kaba. Can threaten with that. Can be super careful if your Idom will get that decision. Great to mix up. And Kaba can find the win. But Idom getting in. I wouldn't expect that with such low wealth. EX, the oh, trade. Like that. There's no EX bar. No, he just built it. If Kaba actually gets an EX Sonic's boom mm -hmm. and Idom tries to trade, he loses. Careful whipping those, whipping those normals, bro. Might be over. Oh my god. Crushing kick. EX. Oh my god. We talked about this. That was preemptive. preemptive. 
The he threw out the crouching heavy punch. Yes, sir. He knew Kava wanted to use that meter. He's been listening to the gods, ladies and gentlemen. I Dom <laughs> is looking at tournament points yet again. How many times are we gonna say this tonight? Kava has been hanging around. Mm -hmm. He's got alligator's blood. He's been lurking. Let's see if he can survive this onslaught. It's not over. It's not over. Kava has got the ES bar. The EX bar, he can still make the comeback. He goes knocked out with the anti-air. The three piece is the flash kick. But again, I don't find these decisions because honestly, he's in that distance. You can go for those trades. It still has a lead in health. Yes. I like that. Love me tender. Activation. Idom is looking at the tournament. He's looking he's at the tournament him. victory. He's letting it cook. Kaba is just one touch away. Fear Another reversal. fear reversal. The feature is not going to be the matter here. Kaba, can he get this comeback? Or will Idom seal the deal? Love me tender, get out of the way. Yeah. Bro, EX, EX another. He doesn't have any more bar. He no doesn't more. have any more bar. This bar on the side of EX. Over item. Crouch one enough. more touch. Oh, the jab. Not enough. The upside item. down kick. He's one more touch. No he is the win. My God. No way. He don't break. He don't break. You're going to win. What is that? What do you mean? Get out of my face with that. Kaba with the whip button is right around the ballroom. In fact, around the world. I um, get a little bit more aggressive dash in throw. After that light, Kaba. There's the ES. Yes, that's what he wants. He started things off strong. I don't willing to get this trade in, but still Kaba, he has that EX bar. He I can't establish the pace. Look at him just walking through. Couch fears don't work out as much, especially because Kaba's not packing up to make it Love work. Love tender, you already know it. Get past the starting boom game. Take that lead back real quick, I don't. With that feature, make him cook EX oh the next. Oh boy, Cooking critical. him up. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot Not of damage. One enough. touch. One EX kick. Flash from his core He's zone. still alive. This is critical territory. He's sweet. Critical territory. The throw. Can he get to come back again? He does it again. He does it again. He does it again. He's in. He's in. He's in. He's in. Yes, He's in. Kaba. This guy is from his core zone. Immaculate. From his core zone. From his heart. One that more game. Was from his heart. One, one more game. One more game. One more game. One more game. Oh my God. Our voices. Vicious. We're going gonna, back into it. I'm the final like game here, of the Street Fighter Five. Combo break the tournament. Go into the limit. I know. He's got to get these leads as much as possible. Make Combo come to him and switch it up. Uh, I can go more for these throws than dash ins. Combo's not ready. In the cross, oh, space trap. More importantly, the corner positioning. Very close to stun now. Idom getting his activation. Plus frame, get off of me. Uses that B-reversal ever so, ever so smartly. This guy's ridiculous, Ooh, but still. This guy's good. He's good. Idom. Man. On that final point, can he finish it this time? Or is Kaba going to stay fine? Big That's jump in situation. Huge. He needed this. I like him establishing the aerial. The aerial space with that flash kick. kick. You can't stop this man. You cannot stop this man from using EX flash kick. If he has the bar, best believe he's going to spend it. However, the situation presents itself. Idom is still forcing Kaba in this corner, trying to find out. He needs the space out of there. He finds Ooh. the bar. This is the start of Kaba now. He shifts in the break. Try to get some distance. And Kaba would love to get in and get some bar going. He's almost there. That presents his game plan. On the back of a bit. Love me tender, mm -hmm. too far out. He reacted to the boom. Kaba now using that view reversal. And a very, very good decision making, to be honest, but still. Throw range. Kaba in the corner. Love to have a heavy kick crush counter and a follow up. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, from Kaba. It's a both Another key. one. The target combo on the mark, Kaba. The interruption on the board deck. I don't want to dead. He air, gets air, it. Air, air, air. We're down to the final, final, game. final round. The final, final round. We're there, Vicious. This could have gone any other way. Any other better way. To the limit. The last game. Who's going to take this? Can Kaba take down the Capcom Cup champion? Okay. This is an excellent start for Kaba. He gets to establish his position. No way out of getting out. I lied to you, ladies and gentlemen. He finds the counter in. Look at the damage. But more importantly, he's resetting the situation on the screen. Kaba getting backed up into the corner now. I know. Still, everybody's swinging at each other. That's like they're in the parking lot of 7 Eleven. The overhead. Busting the dome a bit. Kaba with the lead. With oh, the flash kick. Man. Big capitalization from Idom to get the corner carry. This is getting real scary. Oh, oh my god, he's done finishing. So he needs that last hit to do with the beer whistle. No he's baiting on the, the reversals. He's beating on the beer whistle. And that's going to be it. 
Find the win! Your combo breaker champion! I domination taking combo breaker! Winner side to be dropped down to the loser to the combo match at the break at the very last game. Amazing, you hear the crowd going wild for Idom. Going crazy. What a fantastic match, a fantastic display of Street Fighter Fights from both competitors. But Idom wins in the end, exit zone. Idom! Ladies and gentlemen, give one more round of applause for all of our players here tonight. Let's go! This morning, I can't tell what time it is. We're in the damn ballroom having a great time. Let's Street Fighter Fights champion for Combo Breaker is indeed Exit Idom! I don't think we sat oh. down that whole reset, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't regret it, though. I'm sweaty, yo. I'm sweaty, I'm too. Don't sweaty. check my pits. Don't do it. Whoa, that's gross. All right, I'll tell you what, though. Oh, man. that There was so much adaptation back and forth between both players. It's been there's, – there's certain things that are – some things you can't predict, right. right? You talk about how the phases of the matchups go, and then there's just raw instincts and raw part, raw passion and raw heart, right? We've seen that from both players. A lot of good instinctual decisions coming from Kaba, Correct. making sure that Idom had to fight for his life majority of that game. On the reverse, though, Idom watching for those things, watching for the bar usage, making him waste those resources where he felt comfortable, blowing those up and getting the win is fantastic because you don't typically see even high-level players Go to that minute distance, but it was necessary to take down someone like Kaba to pull him out of that comfortability zone and put the pressure on and win. In the end, it is excess on Ida. Man, oh man, what a fantastic bracket that we have. Listen, everybody, give it up once again for all the champions of the top eight spot. Up to snuff, Mena RD, Filipino Man, Shine, Chrissy CH, Mono, Kaba, and Ida, of course, lining up. Oh. We're going to see all the players that have gone through the entire weekend of pools in our first major offline event. That's right, Combo Breaker was the one to put it all together. And let's take a look with our players here today. Ladies and gentlemen, with seventh place up to Snuff and Mena RD. Fantastic play from both players. Capcom Cup champion and the Dark Horse. Nobody thought was even, I don't even know he was coming to the tournament, to be honest. Up That's to Snuff, one of the biggest shocks to me because I haven't seen him in a very, very long time. But damn, it's good to see him on the top stage getting that medal. But who else do we have up on the docket playing their hearts out this weekend? Next is going to be in fifth place, Filipino man, and Sean. Give it up for him. Sean with that forbidden nooch and Filipino man. Saying I'm still hot, even in Street Fighter, from Street Fighter 4 to Street Fighter 5. Making that big comeback, actually, with that Rose, the new and improved. And then Shine, being as clever as ever with both Ibuki and Cody, has had a very fantastic run in pools. Just an excellent weekend overall. No doubt in my mind we'll see these two in the top eight spot again. But up next, Chris CCH in fourth place with an extravagant Luke. And I get it, man. Mm -hmm. We hear about the Luke play, but I'll tell you what, no other man can put it down like him. And I got to say, right now, this is a man, my personal MVP, Mono, Mono PR, making the impossible possible. This guy, the Fong expert. Now we have in second place with the gun show, Kaba. Give it up for Kaba. There's so much to be said mm -hmm. about his passion for the game, and it was enough to make Idom sweat bullets. A full magazine. This guy could not even rest easy because of the fact that Kaba was there. But in fact, it is indeed Xset Idom, your Kaba Breaker champion. champion. Holding that heavy right there. We saw him win CP keys. We saw him win multiple tournaments. Capcom Cup champion, of course. Not strange to see him in that top spot. But I love the fact that people were able to put the pressure on Idom in the end, getting that win. Fantastic play with the poison. Man, this has been a uh, it's been a tournament.
that's definitely an understatement, to be honest with you. I think it's just been an, an excellent showing mm -hmm. of all the players, their dedication, the fans in the back as well, everybody in production, everybody that's been putting on for this event. I understand the hard work from all sides, right? Yes, it's sir. up to you guys. It's because of you guys we have this entire event. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts to you guys, wherever you're at tuning in. We appreciate you. We love y'all. Keep playing some good ass Street Fighter and keep doing it in a safe manner. We appreciate y'all from the bottom of our hearts for real. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the last thing I got to say is I just want to make this real quick. Recently, we had someone pass in our scene, and it made me really think about, you know, how much, how important this stuff is and really just I'm grateful to be around the homies, the friends, and things like that. So always support your locals. For the people in your scene, I want to say, crew I forever. say it right now. Yaru crew forever, baby. For the homie Mike Yaru, all the boys all that love. know him, he was an absolute blessing. The and light, a of, the light of the world. For the Midwest scene, this is for you right here, my big dog. Rest in peace forever, bro. All love. Y'all crew forever. We'll see y'all next time for the next one. Take Good care. Night.